Good morning. Good morning. Morning, Margalo and Massey. Good morning, Margalo. Margalo. Good morning, Hi, Massey. Putting on another pot of coffee. <laughs> First people used to make coffee in the percolator on the stove. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Still have one of those. That's funny because when you said that, I didn't even think anything odd of it because people have said that for years, huh? All right. Let me get my YouTube yeah. up. Let me get to live chat. Let's get us a thumbs up before we can get a thumbs down. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> that cute paper. Oh, it's a napkin. Isn't that cute? Oh, that napkin? Oh, yeah. that's really cute. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, okay, so now my YouTube is up. Let's see what kind of lag we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, about eight seconds for me. Yeah, that's about for me too. Okay, not too Let's bad. For all under like. 10. Yeah, if it starts getting worse than 10, we'll definitely stop. And um, good morning, Reba. We'll stop and do a refresh. All right, I've Hi, got Reba. stuff in my pockets as I was walking around upstairs. I kept thinking of things, I'd shove them in my pocket so I wouldn't forget to bring them <laughs> down. <laughs> oh. I forget, like the timer. The, the timer that I wanted to leave here. Where is the timer? I know I put it in. I put it in something either. Hopefully that. Oh, there it is. There's the timer. All right. So I got a timer that will stay here and it's set for 30 seconds. So that's easy enough. All right. Camera's back to how it used to be, except we're now on the third side of the table. This is our <laughs> third. <laughs> but you, you have more room than you had. You had more room in last yeah. night. Well, yeah, our um, it's our third time down here, and it's the third side of the table. We only have three sides. The first two, we had shadows and a weird stuff, and it was just a very awkward, um, awkward in a place to put the camera and my computer, um, my laptop, so I've got that right there. And so I moved to the third side. That we'll try the third side and see if that's any better. Maybe a third time is the charm. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any real bright or real dark spots. Oh, good. That that looks pretty good. So yeah. um, I do think that the lighting is better over here, and it might be this might be the trick. I unscrewed Hi, one Toby. light bulb. Just oh, enough. Toby, that's terrible. Uh oh, what? Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't see her on you on the stream yard yet. But brother passed away. Oh, oh, brother passed away. No. I'm sorry. Toby, I am so sorry. Oh, our prayers will be with you. Hugs and love, Toby. Yes. Love and hugs for sure. Oh, Toby, that's so oh, bad. Oh, Toby, we totally understand. Just drive carefully wherever you have to go, whatever you have to do. Be safe. We'll be thinking of you. So sorry to hear that. I know that he's been in the hospital and you've been dealing with a lot. Uh, Mousy, you got a new YouTube notification when you're, yeah. So once we go live, it sends out a notification. Is that the one that you got? This is, hey, Happy Paper People is live now. Uh, Toby, so sorry to hear that. Yes. Just so oh, that we love sad. you and we'll be thinking of you. I'm, I'm, so I've got a little refrigerator down here. I put a couple Diet Dr. Peppers in. And <laughs> I brought down ice water because I didn't have time to grab a case of water. I want to just fill up this fridge with water. So it's always there, always cold. That'll be good. Hi, Paula. Uh, good morning, Paula. While people are coming in, I could probably grab a few more of these things that I wanted to get ready and didn't get a chance to pull over. Um, Mousy, you're not on my notification list if you want to be on it. She's the not. one I send out, just let me know. Wow. Yeah, Mousy, Glennis, I send Glennis a link and she sends it out to everybody in their chat to for convenience. That's all it is so that you can just click on the link and go and not have to remember to go Hi, in so, yeah, if you want to be on her notification list, 
just let Glennis know or say yes right now or whatever, and we'll get you on there. Um, how many is that? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, okay, Deb. I didn't six, realize that. <laughs> one, what? You already had her on? I, yeah, on her real name. Deb Weaver. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're probably not sending it to Mousy. <laughs> but maybe Miss Deb. Nope. That's funny. Uh, let's see anybody else come. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. We had something last night. I was thinking of you. And I can't remember what it was. Or maybe we saved it till this morning. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see. Debbie Ham, I hope you opened your mail at last. Your messenger. Uh, I I can do that really quickly. Maybe. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. I knew I had a whole nother. Oh. I don't worry. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like I have a new message from you, Glennis. Am I supposed to? Oh, no, no. I mean, I, this, I was talking to Debbie Ham. Oh, Debbie, I thought you said Marianne. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, they rhyme. Marianne, Debbie Ham. Good morning, Lori. Uh, wow. Okay, these are the ones I was looking for. The super cute. Go back there. Good morning, Lori. I think I said good morning to Paula. How are you guys doing? Paula, how did it go this morning? I logged in. I was so busy carrying things down the stairs, and I logged in 15 minutes early. Thought maybe I'd catch a couple minutes, and you had just ended. So, so I didn't get to participate in any of your craft and chat this morning. How did it go for the first one? Well, that is probably kind of crinkly. I don't want that to be loud. Okay. Um, Candy, if they do this afternoon, let me know. I had a little plan, and I can private message you. Okay. They're, they're, you know, they got two, they got Lego sets. They got Not, oh, yeah, because they, they went to Lego Land? Oh. They've got three of them together. They each have one. Wow. Cool. And Eric's got a big one. Well, huge, yeah, huge, all day would probably be a little a boring. For me. <laughs> it's going to take forever. <laughs> good. <laughs> right? No, he did the X-Wing Oh, that's really good. Quickly. Wow. How well, did you will will Eric be with you tonight, Candy? Oh. Yes, yes, he wants to do it tonight, and um, Raven will probably come in. I, that's awesome, Paula. We'll probably have her work on her folder that she's working on. Oh, cool. That we didn't ever really finish. We got to stuff it. <laughs> Yeah, it's we just got to stuff it. <laughs> yeah. Did you make some stuff projects? Stuff? That's the life. Got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what, guys? I am going to I'm going to quick create that. So it's. Out oh, there. I want that one. I want the skull. <laughs> oh, now we're going to have a fight right over, over the skull. <laughs> Hi, Gigi. <laughs> I just want one. OK, I got to go. Good morning, Gigi. Good morning, Gigi. Create. Tonight, yeah, tonight is going to be finish and unfinished project night. Grab something that's sitting there. Sounds like everybody always has a pile. Mine's not in a pile or a box. Mine's spread out. One yeah, set nice. here, one set there. And they need it. They need to be consolidated. That's a good idea to do. Mostly, they just need to be finished. Saturday night to laugh. And I need laugh. to finish off my my sewing book. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, Sharon wants to do something in that, like once a month, make something for that. <laughs> I have that all in a folder. I printed oh, it all okay. out and never started. I, then I don't know. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask people, like, did you do it and just and are done with it, or are you waiting to do something together? Because we still have other ideas of things to put in them that are specific, 
but um, I didn't want to do that once a month if everybody's already finished it and done and you know doesn't want to, <laughs> doesn't want to look at it. I haven't I haven't even okay. I haven't sewn mine in haven't sewn mine in yet. Okay. And I have about four or five pages I still have. Okay. One month you need to do a start to finish journal. Uh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. Round up here. Unfinished. Can I put the napkins in? I want one of everyone. <laughs> um give me just a second. I'm typing in tonight's thing just so it's in there. And let's Laurie, which Stamperia paper are you using? <clears throat> okay. Is that Lori, um, Lori Montana? Yep. What, uh, what's indeed. she making? And what's she making and what stamp period is she using? She said she, she's working on an album with Stamperia paper. Oh, the uh, ballet and violin one. Oh, that one's really oh, pretty. The colors so are great pretty. in that one. Oh, I've got something to go with that one today. Um, good morning, Sandra Lou. Good I'll morning, Sandra one of my skull napkins. Unfinished projects. Done. Whoops. Man, I cannot, I cannot talk and type at the same time. All right, let me put this. <laughs> Some things never change. I don't know why I try to talk and type at the same time because it doesn't work. Here we go. Time is tonight. Um, 6 p.m. Uh, picture. Photo. Candy, I think maybe we need to collaborate on a picture just to put for our one for our Saturday night laugh and crafts and one for our sales that are different than our okay. Our primary yeah, I'm, so I'm still working on the Facebook hitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um but I'm thinking, you know, they still say happy paper. Candy, you mean you can't do everything okay. at once? <laughs> you no, know, and I get disturbed, and then I get off my rhythm, and then I forget where I was at. And or you get the, sick. Doing, for and three. doing the Facebook thing, I got to cut out all those images. You know, I yeah. Hi, KK. So, yeah, there. That's kind of a pain. Okay, tonight's is in. All right, so let me go back here, and I'll get rid of that one. There yeah, I'll send out when I take a break later. Okay, perfect. Um. Yeah, we take a quick break. We'll. Um, I'm surprised oh, you, can, here. you can grab that link for um, tonight, right? You can go to YouTube and grab that link, or do you want me to send it to you? Mm hmm. No, I'm, I'm okay. Right. I figured out how to do that. Okay, I am back in here. Let's see. Yeah, Lori, what Stamperia paper are you using? I'm curious. Good morning, Gigi. Good morning, Sandy. The ballet and violin one. Oh, you, oh, you did say that. It's a big album. Cool. Hi, KK. Okay. Candy, you sound human. Cool. It is good to hear Candy sounding human. She's been so sick for so long. <laughs> um, I am going to. I'm going to do. Now, Glenn is starting to sound scratchy. You know, you are, and I'm. I'm hoping oh, you have to do it now. I'm hoping it's just because it's early Saturday. Yeah, that's, yeah. I'm, you know, that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so one and two. Uh, oh, that so one's that one. Definitely that one. One and this goal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and the penguins. Need a bunch of penguins. Ten. Ha <laughs> ha! Aren't the penguins cute? Okay, so there's. 10, oh, there's oh, dear, yes. Ten, 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 ten. 
Um, do you want me to do these individually? I was going to put them in packs of Christmas, Christmas and, and uh, like the fall Thanksgiving, like the birds, but then just have the Halloween in a pack by itself because some people don't like Halloween. Do you want me to do them individually? Would you rather? What do you guys think? I'll take them either way. What do you think? What do you, Candy, Debbie, what do you guys think? Anybody? Oh, anybody very end was just to talk. And I would just <laughs> anybody out there? Um, what do you think? I was putting the napkins together in a pack. So there'd be like um, a Christmas pack. We've Christmas got one, one individual and one pack. Would include the fall. And then Halloween is going to be a pack of its own because some people don't like Halloween. Margie's not awake yet anyway. She doesn't care for Halloween. Sandy says packs. Reba says individual. Two Kelsey individual, one, one pack. Three individual, individual one pack. Individual. Okay. individual, 20. All right. You're going to make me do that. I'm going to break them all up again. <laughs> yep. Okay. I should have known, shouldn't I? I should have known, shouldn't I? I should have. Okay. That's okay. That will be easy. Let me just <laughs> organize them by, by holiday here. And lucky for you guys, I have another pack of skulls. Everybody wants the skulls. They are pretty cool, aren't they? Oh, it's that, that hat and the roses. That's great. Yeah, the skulls are pretty funny because it's like either people really love them or they really don't. There's another pack of the souls. Okay, so we got to break these apart then. Fall, fall, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. But then I have to break apart the packs I made. I, I didn't make a ton. Fall, Christmas. Um, it's I guess a great thing to start with. It's so vibrant. Yeah, these are some of my favorite uh, napkins for sure. Whoop, don't go sliding, Mr. Snowman. Like this one. Look at that. Isn't that super cute? Okay, this will be Halloween. The penguins are adorable for sure. Okay. I am going to reorganize those. Um, this one's super cute. And Santa. All right. Okay, well, um, we've got enough people here that we can start on the napkins because... Yes. Some of them, there aren't that many. That way you guys get them. I, I'm always a fan of something at the beginning that those who are on time get that the others don't and that, that they like. So, okay. And those are... You need to know which one is in the price. Yeah, give me a second. We'll do them all at three for a dollar. And let's... Um, Let's start. Let's start with the skulls. That way you guys can have them all if you want before anybody else comes in. Okay, so let's do skull with roses. Skull with roses, three for a dollar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Um, but yeah, eleven. Okay, so there's eleven packs of skulls. Three for a dollar. You go ahead anytime you're ready. Skull okay, with rope. Okay.
Good morning, Suze. The skull napkin is up, Suze. Oh, now StreamYard is not telling me. Oh, there it is now. Okay. <laughs> is it just taking its own sweet time? Okay, I'll, I'll take one. Okay, you got it. Thank you, Glennis. Candy, we'll take one. Thank you, Candy. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Good morning, Sweet sweetheart. Sweetheart, we'll take two. Thank you, Diana. Mousy will take two. Thank you, Mousy. Reba will take one. Thank you, Reba. Hi, Suze. Suze will take one. Thank you, Suze. Oh, no, just, I just jumped on. Let's go to KK <laughs> instead. Jumped it again. Take one set. KK one. Thank you, KK. Appreciate that. Okay, and then Suze. Uh, and I got Suze. Okay, so I got Glennis, Candy, Sweetheart, two, Mousy, two, Reba, Suze, and KK. Should be nine. And there's 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo! There's two, two available if anybody wants a second before anybody else comes in. I'll move them out of the way. They'll never see them. <laughs> How rude. Not rude if they're not available, though, right? Candy will take, take another set. You cut out totally there, but I think you said Candy would take another set. So Hi, Margie. Thank you, Candy. Good morning, Margie. Here, can't see yet. Eyes aren't open. <laughs> uh, the skull... Margie did this first figure okay. you were sleeping. Nadine is available. Skull with the roses is the first one up. Okay. And I'm sorting the others back from packs. Wow. <laughs> okay. So that one goes with Skull with roses. <laughs> Come on. That's going inside. Reba would take the last one. Oh, Reba gets the last one. Thank you, Reba. I don't know if you were here last night when we talked about it, Rebecca, but we've got three Rebeccas. So they are Rebecca, Becca, and Reba. Then we, then I will not get messed up and give you guys something that wasn't really you. All right. Um, let's do this one because I think this is pretty much the full pack. And nope, there's some more over there. Um, but there's quite a few. This Call this one the wreath. And I, there's more on the other side of the table. So pretty sure we can accommodate whatever is wanted there. So the wreath, we'll do second. That'll give me a minute to get the rest of these back. Okay, that's it. Ah, oh, Mousy, I love that. I'm like you. Just something that made me happy that made my day. I do love that. That makes me feel good. Today was worth it then. We made Mousy's day and made it early. I'll take a set. You got it. Thank you, Glennis. She didn't even make us work that hard to make her day. I needed the break, Mousy. That was nice of you. Okay, before you start, I'm going to walk around the other side of the table and get the others. I'm going. That I'd already put in packs. Put this one in as available. Okay. All right. I'm really excited about this moving everything down here too because the space that I'm going to have in the studio, one of the things, one of the first things we're going to do is wax napkins. I have been waiting to okay. do that forever. Okay. okay, so wreaths. It's right there. Okay. Okay, let's do another where I know I've got the huge stack. Got a huge stack of these. I love these. This, I think this is so, so cute, even if you just fussy cut the truck out. But 
when you open it. You get two trucks. This makes a super cute border over here, but I really like that you get at least two trucks, not just one corner. Um, so let's call this one vintage truck. Is that blue? Uh, the truck is, truck. is okay. it's, a, it's a teal, a tealy blue. It's not blue, it's not green. So in my mind, that means some shade of teal. Okay, that's in. Oh. I should have gone to that. not to bother to put those in packs. I'm sorry, say that again. Hi, Kendall. Good morning, Kendall. <laughs> Margo will take one. And I yeah, it's been really hot in Cali. Margo Lowe. Patricia Cook will take one. Thank you, Patricia. Good morning, Patricia. Reba will take two. Thank you, Reba. Mousy will take one. Thank you, Mousy. Good morning, Patty. Okay, number available. Okay, perfect. All right, then close that. Let's do this Christmas tree. This is um, a vintage Christmas tree. These are vintage napkins. <laughs> Most of these are not vintage napkins. This one is a vintage napkin with the vintage type Christmas tree and the old toys underneath it. Uh, the soldiers, nutcrackers. And the little pole horse, the vintage ribbon. I don't think I have as many of these, but there's probably plenty. One, two, three, four, five. Did I already pull any out? Eight okay, cats. That's in. Five. At this point, there's five sets. And that may be it. Five sets. Vintage Christmas tree. Kendall will take a set. Thank you, Kendall. Mousy will take a set. Thank you, Mousy. I'll take a set. Thank you, Glennis. Gigi will take it. Thank you, Gigi. One set left. Patty, you're planting outside. Eight sets available. Planting. Oh, planting the garden. Okay, so there is one set available on that one. I don't know if it's just me, but you're getting blurry. I'm getting blurry. Hmm. Um, yeah. Okay, StreamYard is not blurry, and I can see YouTube kind of popping back and forth blurry. Yeah, I can see that. So that's YouTube, not StreamYard. I will try to move a little slower and see if that makes a difference. I need a better. I, I've got to get the. I got to get the phone stand to set that up here. Okay, let's see this one. We'll call this the, um, was there another? Let me make sure that there, there's another snowman. I don't think so. This is the only, nope, there is another snowman. Okay, so let's call this the red and white snowman because the other one does not have red on it. Isn't he happy? It's got the cart postel, postal. Um, He's so sweet. I, that little face is just so happy. You have it's a like, lot of yeah. those? Let me give you a gift. Um, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and ten, eight, nine. Looks like nine. So no, not a lot. Okay. Red and white snowman. Yes, who's she thinks a lot of these are vintage napkins. Mark, mark um, them no, a lot, most of these are not vintage napkins. This one, this Christmas tree one is for sure. Oh, okay. Most of them are not. I don't want to deceive you there. Most of them are not vintage. Margalo, thank you. Candy will but take yet, a set. This is one that looks vintage and it does a good job of looking vintage. I'll take a set. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Glennis. Suze will take a set. Suze. Thank you, Suze. Mousy Deb will take a set. Thank you, Mousy. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so there are still four available. Yeah, he's really, really cute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll take another set. set. Okay. Because they're so cute. Gigi will take a set. You got it. Thank you, Gigi. All right. This one we already did. So that can go off to the side. Candy will take another one. I got it. Thank you, Candy. Five, six, seven, eight. So there's one set available of there's the happy one little set snowman. Double. One set of the happy little snowman. He's kind of what I think of when you start singing the song. <laughs> Frosty, the snowman, because he's so happy, a jolly, Snow happy self. snowman. <laughs> okay. We'll keep one set there. All right. And... Then let's do the green hat snowman. We'll call him green hat snowman. Um, he's really cute because he's kind of like a, uh, a sketch. And half of it is a scene and then it's duplicated on the other side. But there's the red barn with snow, the green house with snow the red house with snow. And so everything is just black and white sketch except the color of the houses and the ribbons and his hat. And it really has okay. a real cool vintage look to it. If you look at look at the, asked look, how many you have the scribbles on his body, you can tell it just looks like a hand drawing, but it's very well done. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, here's a couple more. Six, that would be Hi, seven, Kathy. eight. Exactly eight. Good morning, Kathy. Eight. This is Green Hat Snowman. Okay, Suze will, Suze will take one. Thank you, Suze. Kathy R will take one. Thank you, Kathy. Patricia will take one. Thank you, Patricia. All right. She will take one. Oh, you cut out there and I did not hear who you said. Gigi. Gigi, thank you. 
Thank you, Gigi. Okay, those are available. Okay. Two, three, four. Yep, so there's four available. Okay, let's do the snowflake. This is the red, red and white snowflake. Oh no, those are two different ones. That doesn't go. This is the red and white snowflake here. And there is one, two, three, four, five. Five sets available. Gotcha. All right. That one is alone. A loner. Thank you, Mousy. And I will take one. Thank you, Glynis. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'll put that as available. Okay. All right. Let's do is this one in here? I'm looking for the ones that are oh, not. Candy in. will take one. Okay. Thank you, Candy. Two left of that. So two, yep, two available. All right. Let's do the red and green Christmas tree. This is another one that looks vintage. It's not, but it looks vintage because it's got candles on the tree and the ribbon around it. It's very pretty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half. <laughs> what happened to what happened to my notebook? Holy cannoli. It doesn't just disappear. I didn't stick the whole notebook in there, did I? Okay, that's it. No. Goodness. All right. Who saw my little purple notebook? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the penguin took it. Yeah, really. Red and green. Did I say five, Glennis? You said five and a half, but I put down five. five. And a half. Okay. Five. Perfect. Yeah. I'll be telling you it's under your right hand. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> that half will be good for making up packs once we go through this. <laughs> with what? Yeah, with what's left. And there's just some of them. There's just one or two because they didn't make a full three. I'll use those to make up um, packs. I shouldn't have even bothered to do packs this morning. Those are available. Okay. That one is up there. All right. Um, here's another Christmas tree that is not vintage, but looks vintage. This is one of my favorites just because of the way of the tree, the boughs, the presents. And way back in the day, they used to hang gifts oh, in the yeah. tree see all the little gifts in the tree and then look at the little santa up on the top <laughs> he's cute so we'll call this one we had a red and green christmas tree we had a vintage christmas tree right we'll call this one green border christmas tree it's the only one yeah green border christmas tree that one Now, 
And I forgot how many I said already, so hopefully you remember. Oh, shoot, I do too. That's enough. Or did I? One, two, three, four, five. Exactly five. Um, there will be six when I unpack these packs, finish unpacking uh, these packs, <laughs> for sure. Okay. Uh, sweetheart will take one. Thank you, sweetheart. Suze will take one. Thank you, Suze. We'll take one. Thank you, Mousy. Candy will take one. Thank you, Candy. Gigi. Thank you, Gigi. And I'll take last one. Thank you, Glennis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, give me just a second. There might be a seventh. I don't know if there was anybody else in line. There's you six. Pass, you can pass mine to Glennis. <laughs> no. No, I had six. No, I thought there was only had five. Thank you. I have no, I had six because I'm unpacking this pack and it's I forgot oh, okay. it was in this pack. Right. But um there might be a seventh here. Just but I don't know. was there anybody okay. No, there's six plus one, so well that's everybody right now. We're perfect then. So at this point that one is sold out. One left that I can put in the pack for a giveaway or something. Okay, let's do the fall cornucopia, and this is uh, one of those huge ones. You should get a lot more out of the great big ones. You actually get four cornucopias. I love these colors. They're really rich fall colors, these are. There are one two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I cannot spell cornucopia. As long as we know what you mean. Corn, you, copia. <laughs> but, you know, autocorrect will probably make it something like cornflakes. And... Hi, Kim. Did I say five or six? Good morning, Kim. Oh, there we go. Candy, did I say five or Thank six? Thank you, Candy. I don't remember. Okay, that's now in. Hi, Toya. Okay, Suze, what uh, what I can Suze do... Suze says like any time you're short, she doesn't mind buying one or two of them. Okay, if there's one left of three, I'll put them together in a, in a pack of three. So um, that makes it a little easier. Uh, my accountant that prepares the invoices would not be really happy about 33 cents, so whole lot easier to do <laughs> three pull three from three separate packs that are only have one left okay that Gigi will take that thank you Gigi Okay, I guess that's available. Okay. It's such a large print, I would find it difficult to work with. Mm. I just love the colors on it because they're really rich, vibrant. And if you look at the wall behind it, it's crackle. So when you put that on and then you get the crackle look, I thought I think that'll look really cool. I might make like a big pocket out of it or put it over a file folder <laughs> and then make a... Like a file oh, yeah. Okay, let's do Santa's belt. One, two, three, four. Four Santa's belt. Yep, that's it. Nope, there's one more off to the side here. Hey, that's five, it. Five Santa's belt. Santa's belt. Five available. I can't spell this morning either. Kathy R will take that. 
Thank you, Kathy. I was going to write a cassette. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. Okay, I'm putting that as available. Okay. Wouldn't that be cute on the front of a file uh, Ray folder? Ray will take a set. You got it. Thank you, Ray. And then the whole thing stuffed with Christmas tags and ephemera and things for somebody who's into crafting. Even on, in the front, front of a... It'd be cute on the cover of a journal, too. In front of a journal, too, that'd be cute. That's your children's say children's Christmas. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, let's do the vintage Santa... Because I think, yep, those are all unpacked. All right, Vintage Santa, there is one, two, three, four. Four and one single. Vintage Santa, four available. Wait a minute, there might be some off to the side. Give me just one second. Did you get ready on that last one? I did, yep, I did. I sure did, four. Okay. Hang on here, five, six, six available. Actually six and two thirds, but six available. Okay. Okay. Again. Okay, Kathy, I will take one. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Mousy. Gigi will take one. Thank you, Gigi. I'll take one. Thank you, Glennis. One, two, three, four. So two, two available. Two available. Yep. Hey, Glennis. I know I got Gigi. I have Kath, Kathy, Mousy, Gigi, and Glennis. I have a big delay. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Um, Gigi, did my message this morning make sense to you? Hopefully. Okay, so there is two vintage Santas available. Okay, let's do the fall leaves. This is watercolor leaves. What I love about it is that, I mean, watercolor is just kind of out there with, you know, a lot of mushy edges. So I love that they actually put a frame on it. So when you cut this into four, you have a framed watercolor and then nice torn edges on the inside. And they're actually oh, and they're all four. different leaves. I was just going to say that they're actually four completely different leaves, and I love that. So that would be cool as four pockets in a in a yeah, fall cool. journal. Okay, so the fall leaves one, two, three, three and two thirds. Yep, that is it. Three fall leaves. Three and two thirds. If we need, I'll throw another one with that one. If another one, somebody no, wants. Fall leaves. Well, I, but yeah, I would like the leftovers. Okay. So who gets the three? You no, know, Glennis. All of that. I don't know what that means. Oh, she means she knows that you'll want the fall one and the leaves. So no, you don't. Mousy double take the set. <laughs> Thank you, Mousy. Patricia will take a set. Thank you, Patricia. And Margolo will take a set. Thank you, Margolo. Okay, Glennis, there's two left. Which one would you like to add to the two? Us Canadians love our maple leaves. Yeah. Would Do you want me to add one of these to it and make a set of three? Um, 
and that will be your set of three. Then you get the birds and the... Sure. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, because I know you like this one. Thank you. You are welcome. So we'll just put Glennis yeah, Anything with maple leaves we can eat is like... <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll just put... Candy will just put Glennis as regular, but I'll make a note that she gets that top set. Okay. So that makes four available and four sold. Okay. Now let's hope that didn't throw the birds off. <laughs> But we, there's a few extra Christmas ones here and there that we can add to that. So let's do the birds one. This uh, this is a really pretty fall birds one as well. Two of the bird the this is the same. These two squares on the bottom are the same. And then on the other side nice background so then you could put your birds on top of it 3d let's see how many there are so we'll call this one um birds on branches gg which one did you want i just had lunch before and now be eating all day nice debbie um gg That, if it's the last one, it's sold out. Um, but we may want to, we, we, you know what, we'll do the every hour. We'll take 15 seconds and everybody refresh because uh, Saturdays are always, oh, that doesn't go with that. Uh, Saturdays are always a heavy day. One, two, three. Three, come on. Oh, it didn't work. One, two. Why is that one? There are three, four. Most that was four and two thirds. <laughs> well, uh, four, we'll call it five. And the fifth okay, one. Four. Oh, boy, so those, are, those are sold. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, Gigi says that. Or Mousy said, did you have a couple of hers? And what the is last she, one? The, is she talking about the the leaves? Yes. Okay, so Mousy had a set. Um, this is the one you wanted, Gigi? Uh, she says both. Probably this one. Oh, I think, yeah, cause she saw me add that one there and she wants this one. Too. So, um, so Mousy, you want to let's well, hang on a second. Is Mousy up for this one too? For the birds? Yes. I have a thought. Um, Except she's one, two, three, four, five, six. She's seventh person in mine. Okay, and there's only five available. No, not. Okay, so the fifth one, there's only two, and we'll add a third. Okay, I'll come back to this one in just a minute. Let's do the birds. Who are our first four for the birds? Ray? KK? Thank you, Ray. Thank you, KK. Kim? Hi, Kim. Thank you, Kim, and good morning, Kim. And Gigi. Good morning, Gigi. Okay, so Gigi got the birds, and Mousy got the leaves. Gigi and Mousy, do you want to swap one from each? So Mousy would get her two leaves and a bird, and Gigi would get two birds and a leaf. So you can mix them. Since you both wanted both, one of you got one and one of you she got the other. You can mix the birds with leaves or whatever. Okay. So, Gigi, I assume you're okay with that too because I know you wanted a, the leaves. So, I'm going to do this. Gigi gets the And top. then Kathy. Set. Okay, give me just a second. I've done that. That one goes with this one. Okay, so just just yep. leave them straight, Candy, and I'll I'll make note on here. 
because this one, Glennis, get the top set and now I got to turn. Mousy gets the bottom set. All right. I just have to make a note that's clear to me so I know what to pull one. And I'll note that on the spreadsheet. Okay. And All also, right. Kathy Rawlings would like another vintage Santa. Okay. I think Linus was going there and I asked her to hang on so I don't get confused. Okay. Um, another vintage Santa. That's this one. Give Kathy yes. two, two, three, four, five. So there's only one of him available. Oh, you know who's going to be upset that she missed the Halloween napkins? Jen. Somebody wake Jen up. Well, she should be here then. Yeah, she's not going to be happy if she misses all the Halloween. Okay, here, this one is a vintage napkin. Maybe one of two or three that are vintage. Most of them are not. And it's got the uh, scene of the church, the people caroling around the Christmas tree. There are one, two, three, four, five, exactly. Uh, so I'm going to call this one um, uh, Church with People, because it's the only one with the church on it, Candy. Oh, I call it Red Church. You can call it whatever, Glennis, but yeah, yeah as long yeah. as Candy and I create the same thing. Church, church with Glennis is what I just wrote. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Church with people. <laughs> That's hilarious. Glennis hasn't been inside a church in 23 years. <laughs> Glennis, how many says, did let I... her sleep. <laughs> okay. Did I say five? Did I say five available? I think. You said five. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> oh. After I pack these, I'll find out. There were several of them. Looks like it's available. There were several several of them where there was just one or two available at the beginning left that I didn't say. I just said there's X amount of packs because it wasn't a full pack. So after I pack them all, I'll pull together those odd one or two mm -hmm. that were left. And we'll, um, we can make some yeah. packs, packs with just those. My penguins are all walking different ways. So let me get my penguins together here. Shape up penguins. Um, you know, it's a lot cooler in the basement, but there is no airflow in this room and I really need a fan. Okay, so this one is available. And that one will go over here with that one all right uh let's do this how many oh. of the penguins do you have not quite to the penguins hang on to that and that and that one's going over there oh okay let's i thought do, you had those okay. no i'm sorry let's do this fall one there are no only problem. two sets um of this one this is the pumpkin patch cool because each panel is the same. It's pumpkin patch and sunflowers is what they are, but let's just call it pumpkin patch. So you actually get six individual pictures. That's a really cool card and it's tall enough to make a, a nice flip out or a side tuck. Pumpkin patch. Okay, that's in. What did I say? Two, three, two, two available. You said two, and they're sold. Okay. So, for Candy and Gigi. Thank you, Candy, and thank you, Gigi. Oh, a lot more people would like one. <laughs> okay. It is possible that in the bin that's upstairs, I've kept the two bins separate because the first one is the one I drew from to do the first uh, clearance pack of napkins, and then the other bin was the one I drew from to do the second pack so you'd get different napkins. Yeah. You could do one of those for me and those two extra skulls. 
and then you'd have two for somebody else. Ah, uh, there was two extra skulls? Yeah, I remember you had two. Yeah, skulls. I don't remember that. Okay, so, so candy, one, pumpkin, two. If, if, if we find out there's no, no skulls, we'll just add something else. Okay, yeah. Okay, so one pack for Gigi. Okay, so Candy's giving up two. Who is next in line? Mousy is next. Mousy is next. Mousy. Um, Mousy, do you want these two? And I'll add this skull. Mousy, yeah. You like skulls? And I only have. Just take one. And share the other two. Okay. Oh, Mousy, I like that. You, Mousy, would you like these two with a skull? And, um, oh, wait a minute. There's one extra there anyway. No, no, no. That's the one from Candy's pack. Okay. So this one is Candy's with the one pumpkin, two skulls. Mousy is going to take. wants a skull. Two. Okay. Mousy gets two, pump, two pumpkins, one skull. Two pumpkin, one skull. Was there more people in line for that one? Um, next after Mousy is Kathy Rollins. Okay. Um, hang on a second here. One, two, three, four, five. Gigi, do you like this Santa in the window? A Santa. Oh, yeah, this is really Santa. <laughs> Santa Snowman. <laughs> the ball weight Santa. <laughs> I love the stamp up here. I decoupaged this on and then I cut that out as a faux stamp. It looked really cool. Yeah. And this is um four scenes. I get four women scenes. So I did the whole thing and then I I actually cut out and used that. And then I, I cut these out as faux stamps. I used the red birds. I used the snowman on his own. I used the joyous Christmas here. I part and pieced this one out totally and completely. Gigi, do you like? Yes, you like the snowman. Okay, so Gigi, then I will she give said you two, yes. two snowmen yeah. and a pumpkin. <laughs> I'll give you two snowmen and a pumpkin for your kitten. <laughs> two two snowmen and a pumpkin okay two snowmen one pumpkin okay and then who was next you said kathy rollins yes okay um in is there anybody else after kathy hi on mousy kathy their sweetheart that's an even number. Um, uh, all right, Mousy, you said just one. I should have kept those out up front that there is um, extra one or two of. Um, Candy, what was there extra of? Was there, I think there was extra Santa's belt. Two, three, four, five. There's two extra Santa's belt. Do you like Santa's belt, Santa's belt, Mousy? Or um, Cornucopia. Oh, there was extra of the vintage truck. I have a lot of those. Or the very first vintage Christmas tree. Or, oh, well, let's see. Okay, so Mousy gets one. Mousy says to pass one of her other pumpkins. Yeah, and so I'm looking for a third one for your pack, Mousy. So one skull, one pumpkin, and then would you like um, a Santa, a vintage Santa, or a a Santa's belt as your third one? Such messy people. <laughs> a truck or a tree, she said. A truck or a tree. Okay, you got it. We'll do, we'll do the truck. A tr Twenty of trucks. So we'll do the truck for Mousy. So there's her three. Okay, and that was Gigi's three, and then, okay, and then Candy, 
That was hers. And then Sweetheart, it would be next. And then Sweetheart, and who else? I love how you guys just share with everybody. Um, who, who, that was it. There was um, Kathy Rollins. Yeah, I thought you did her. I'm sorry. No, I did not do Kathy. So Kathy and Sweetheart, right? Okay, Kathy. Yeah. Okay, so Kathy likes the vintage truck. And so then let's do Kathy will take vintage truck. Okay, and sweetheart, would you like a vintage truck too and mix it with a pumpkin? This is the vintage truck. It's adorable. So, Kathy, you want two trucks? Let's see. Sweet. Uh, yeah, Kathy was next. Kathy, do you want two pumpkins and a truck or two trucks and a pumpkin? Can go either way. I love that, Mousy. How fun is that? Just need to know, Kathy gets to choose two trucks and a pumpkin or two pumpkins and a truck. <laughs> Nothing like making Candy's job difficult, huh? <laughs> That's why I'm writing him down. Poor Candy. Two trucks and a pumpkin. You got it. Okay, so Kathy two Hart trucks and a pumpkin. Gets two trucks and one pumpkin. Then that means that Sweetheart gets one truck and two pumpkins. And everybody got some pumpkin patch. And you know what? That's one that it's it's okay to have just one or two because there's six <laughs> there's six pumpkin patches on each one of them. So that was a good one. Thank you guys for sharing, though. That's what I mean about this Happy Paper People yeah. being a no-drama family. That's what we do. We take care of everybody, and everybody's kind and generous. And uh, have you noticed that anybody who's not like that just kind of weeds themselves out? They just don't stick around because I don't do it. Because that's how y'all are, and I love that. Okay. Lucy so. wants to know. Lucy. Lucy wants to know how long you're going to be doing napkins. Um, about five minutes or less because we're almost done. We're almost done with napkins. All right. Pumpkin or she penguins. Hasn't done penguins yet. Penguins. Penguins are next. Penguins are next. Let me see how many there are. One, two. Oh, they are not cooperating. One, two, three, four, five, five plus one. Penguins, five plus one. Okay, that's in. Glennis would like one. I don't want all of them, sweetheart. I'll share some of them. Yeah, she would like all no, of them. Glennis but would like two. Glennis would like two. And then I'm sure Gigi would like one or two. Gigi would like. Okay, so I have Glennis for two and Gigi for two. So there is one pumpkin okay, or one Gigi. Pumpkin. Okay, is there somebody yeah. that wanted a penguin that didn't because you know Glennis and Gigi love penguins? Because we could put the one with somebody else, with something else. If one not, available, peeps. If not, I'm sure that Glennis or Gigi would like it. So, <laughs> But um, there is one available. One lone ping pengi. <laughs> some lion ones yeah, once have been available how could lion anyone one. resist that sweet penguin all right if one of you wants that oh, with some geez. well yeah okay so let's do the poinsettia whoops gg will take the loner gg will take the loner okay um and it will be whoops 
be one penguin. And we'll have to put something else with it. I thought you said you had five plus one. Uh, I thought so too. One. You have a whole set left plus one. Yeah. You said two. there were five, so it should be a full set. Three, four, five. There is five plus one. So, Gigi, you want three? Not the plus one. Okay, so there's one loan available. Unless, oh, Gigi, unless you just want the loaner. But if you want the set, or if you want two, and Glennis can have the other two, and then we'll put one. Do you want a couple more, Glennis? Because uh, if you do, you can Not each have a really, set. But... Not really? Okay, you don't, you don't have to. I'll, I would like to decoupage a couple. <laughs> so, okay. So Gigi does want, Gigi wants the loner. We'll hold that for a second so we can put something with it. Let's do um, snowman in the window. The other one wasn't snowman in the window, right? This is the only one that's, that's um, like in a window or a package, but I think it's supposed to be a window frame. This one is... This one's really nice. I just showed you this one, but yeah, I love. It's got the 1935 December uh, stamp, um, airmail. This is, I put this on an oriental thing because that red just looked really cool there. The birds, I really like the birds. They look like very happy, fat and happy little birds. And it's got all four panels too, which is really nice. So the uh, snowman in the window, there is one, two, three, four, five, exactly five. Snowman in the window. Okay, that's in. How much is that puppy in the window? The I one with sold. the waggly tail. Okay. Candy will take a set. Thank you, Candy. Reba will take two. Thank you, Reba. Sweetheart will take a set. Thank you, sweetheart. KK will take a set. Thank you, KK. Is that it? Because there, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Thing. That's it. Yep. Five. And if there's another, uh, if there's another bag of Christmas ones up in the other bin, we'll bring them down next time because I will have finished packing all the clearance, and that's the last we're going to do on clearance. Okay, poinsettia. Yeah, because there were more people wanted them. Okay. When you open this poinsettia, the whole thing is one scene. That's kind of nice. Buried in the center. Four different poinsettias and a border. There are one, two, two plus one. <clears throat> So yeah, those of you who just okay, uh, came in in the last little while, um, tonight for Saturday Night Live Laugh and Craft, La uh, yeah, Laugh and Craft, we are um, finishing an unfinished project. So look around your room, grab something that you started and you just have never taken time to sit down and finish. Um, we're all going to grab something or I'm hoping to maybe get through a couple of things and um, we're going to sit down and finish a couple projects. It'll be nice to get them um checked off the list. Oh, Jen, you are good thing you're here. <laughs> good thing you're here. Yes, or okay, Nanny, couple. you slept in. You missed couple, everything. Couple Halloween still coming. Otherwise, we're almost through the Halloween. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll take one of the pincetta. Thank you, Glennis. You missed okay. all the skulls. They're all gone. The skulls, yep. Actually, those are um, poinsettias done. Okay. 
Let's do. Actually, the small skull you haven't put up yet, but I wasn't going to tell um, Jen that. It, I'm, and I'm probably not going to because there's not even. That's why I pulled that one out because there's not even full sets. There's, yeah, literally not even that many. He's got mixed in. Could I have what's it, left then? <laughs> I only see what's left. Okay, so here's a couple of my favorite Halloween ones. I just, you watched me do that. Somebody's laughing this morning going, holy cow, Miriam, wake up. Okay, that's, this one says, would you like flies with that? <laughs> Makes me laugh. Good morning, Don. Would you like flies with that? That's uh, black on the, on the back. Um, yeah, she looks like the Wicked Witch of the West, doesn't she? That's a good one. There is a one, two, three, four, five, six, and two. Six plus two available. So we'll just call this one flies with that. Okay, that's in. No, but I'd rather have flies. Okay, let's let you two worry about that. Yeah, no, you're fine on which, as long as Candy and I have it the same. Flies, flies with that. Jen will take three right off. <laughs> you got it, Jen. Thank you. Kathy will take a set. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, now she says one set for her. She meant, she meant three napkins, one set. Okay, got it. Thank you, Jen. Ray will take. Ray will take a set. Got Kathy for one. Ray for one. Okay. That's one, two, three. Okay, so there are three sets available. Nope. We have not done books. We started with napkins. We did Christmas and Halloween and napkins. Available. All we're doing is Christmas and Halloween napkins. Okay. And as soon as we finish the napkins up, we'll take a second. We'll all refresh YouTube. We'll do a changing of the guards. Let Glennis go take a break and uh, bring Debbie in for a bit and move to books. All right. How about uh, Purple Spider Web? Purple spider web. And let's see who's turned wrong direction. There we go. Nope. <laughs> turned them the opposite. I did it. How come? How come they're not cooperating? Can that? There we go. Maybe. They all have to be turned the same way <laughs> to be able to count them. Did that work? It did. Did not. There we go. Wow. All except one. That's what happens when I separate them into packs and then you tell me you want them individually. You said you were good at That's geometry. Him. I know, I know. Look at me. I can't even get the napkins back in the right direction. Oh my goodness. I hope if I can see. All right. That's got to be right, right there. I can see because the little uh, lines are lined up, the purple lines are lined up. Yep, all right, I got it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, How many five. do you got? Exactly five. Candy, can you proxy right. for for uh, Jen for a minute? Okay, we double take two of those. Because she's driving. Oh, are you, um, I don't know what she likes. She wants this one, she wants this one. She wants this one. Any all Halloween, she wants a set of all Halloween. She wants everything Halloween. She says all Halloween packs. Well, we just give her one. <laughs> yeah, she wants one pack of each Halloween, but she's driving and we don't want her to wreck. This is per I'm sorry, say it again, Glennis, please. Okay, we had two for Reba, one for Sweetheart. One for Jen. Reba, two. Um, one for Sweetheart. 
and one for Jen. Thank you, Reba. Thank you, sweetheart. And thank you, Jen. Okay, that's two, three, four. How many did I say, Glennis? Five? Five. You said five. Thank you, Candy. Five. There's one available. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there is one available there. All right. Next Halloween. Jen, did you want that last one? She got the last one, and she, she wants one of each Halloween, so she'll want one of these, Candy. This is, we'll call this one Two Witches. That's the Two Witches. One of them says, Halloween brings out the true witch in me. What's your excuse? <laughs> I love that. That's very cute. Very cute. So we'll call this one Two Witches. Oh, there's a lot he, more. Of um, one, Jen will take the the last slider. Four, five, six, six plus two. Um, six plus two. Let me okay, get that in. I had a fly buzzing around my head. <laughs> me crazy. He's been following me since last night. Because of that napkin, he thought you weren't flies with that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so we got one for Jen. We might have lost Glennis's sound. Jen. Uh, one for Kathy. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Kathy. One for Kathy. One for Ray. Thank you, Ray. So there are three available of the two witches. Those are available. Wait a minute. It needs to go on top of that. Okay. And then we have the Happy Pumpkin. He's a cute little guy. With the bats. Bats in the background. There's not too many of this one. There is one, two, two sets plus one. Nope, hang on a minute. I can't count. They get stuck down below. Two sets plus two. We'll call this one the um, Happy Pumpkin because he's the only one that has a smiley okay, face. Okay, so one is going to Jen and one is going to Candy. Let Mousy have the full set and I'll take the two. The two? We'll okay. With something else. I don't care. Okay. Vintage truck, whatever Jen. we got left. Okay. Jen gets one. Mousy gets one. And then Candy. Two. Pumpkin. And one. Mm. Oh. There's a lone. Did you want spider webs? There's a lone spider web over here that didn't get into sure, its take that. I'll take that one. Okay, one spider web. Okay, so I'll put that right. Jan would like to pick candy, please. Aw, cool. Candy, Jen would like to pay for yours. Thank you. Thank you for proxying for her. Now okay. I owe her. Now I can be mean to her today. What in the world? <laughs> Well, you you already paid her in proxying for her, making sure she got what she wanted. So, so you two are even right now. <clears throat> uh, okay. The only one I have left, Glennis, I'll talk to you about that other one later. Okay. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. It is copper foiled on a copper colored napkin. And there's three plus one. Uh, 
and Debbie, uh, you're probably already ready. Oh, one set. Uh, one, yeah, one. I'm sorry, I said three. One set plus one loan. So that's in. Um, happy Thanksgiving. In fact, unless two people are fighting for it, whoever takes that one set will just get the fourth one. So you could actually have Thanksgiving dinner for four people. Let's see. Any interest in this Thanksgiving napkins? Don will take them. You got it. That one you get four for a dollar. Awesome. Thank you, Don. It's really pretty. I actually decoupaged some of these last year. Loved how the copper turned out. That was a really okay. nice color. Glennis, we'll let you go have a nice brunch with your hubby. Your own kilt man. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we'll dig into books next. Um, <clears throat> Debbie, Ms. Debbie, you ready? Good morning, good morning. Awesome. Glennis, I'll let you mute yourself so that you can unmute later. Okay. Um, I'm going, let's do this just because I've got it right here next to me. And I can move it out of the way and be able to pull up some other things. Um, I have two. All right, Glennis is muted. Okay. One. See how many of these I have. One, two. Oh, good. They're even. Maybe. Yes. I love it when it works out even. All right. Because it's even, we're just going to do three for a dollar. So. I'm not doing anything down to uh, weird pennies. All right. This is just a fun little pack. Um, we'll call this a Christmas Village three-page pack candy. And it has the one page with Advent. Each one is a little house, a little Christmas house, all decorated. The back is polka dots with snowflakes in the background and then there's two pages of music one is more of a white although it's a little bit of a dirty white but it's got all christmas songs on it the back is solid black and the other one is a cream color music is different this would make a nice border too if you wanted to cut these in strips and use them as trim and it is cream colored with red. The music is in red. And the back is Christmas striped. So you get all three sheets, one of each for $1. And there is one, two, three, four of them. Okay, that's in, ladies. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay, Reba will take two. You got it. Thank you, Reba. Gigi will take one. Thank you, Gigi. And Candy will take one. Thank you, Candy. And, there... and you said you had four, right? Yes, four. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have two paper packs. We could do this on an A and a B. They are um, very different. The first one is Christmas Metallics. This is a cool pack. Every page in it has 
foiled metallics. And we know they don't always do great in the light, so I'll do a quick flip. There's two of each page, so those are silver. I'm holding it sideways. My camera's right, but it's the only way to flip it. I can't, uh, very awkward doing it the other way. These are um, leaves or little branches. This is really pretty trim with gold foil or tags down here to cut apart. So this will be the foil paper pack, Christmas foil, uh, foiled gold foiled reindeer on white, gold foiled snowflakes on white. Oh, look how pretty that is. Gold foiled reindeer and season's greetings with a border. Gold foil design, make a good background with something foil gold popping out of it. I love this one. Gold, gold and white, the foil swirls. There is the gold foil background with the white reindeer. The gold foil background with the white um, branches, opposite of what we had in, um, up front. Gold, or excuse me, the white with the gold foil snowflakes and white with the gold foil where's that copper it might be copper uh christmas tree and it says happy holidays try to get that all the way under there it's okay you see it was just me okay and so that is the christmas metallics and it has um gold silver and copper in it 30 sheets and that will just be five dollars the second one, look how thick this one is. This is one of those big babies. This is a paper studio uh, called Santa Baby. Retailed $16.99. This is a vintage. This is going to be a, a black and white and cream. A um, lot of vintage design and vintage style. You can fussy cut if you want to. Um, stockings and color them in there's three sheets of each there's the black and cream polka dot there's a really nice vintage merry christmas you can punch this out with your uh with your punch or fussy cut it either way some vintage trim there's the vintage santas all different facial expressions around that's cute. Vintage uh, bells. Black and cream stripes. Vintage ornaments. Baubles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, snowflakes. Red with tiny black polka dots. Uh, black with vintage cream uh, Christmas trees. Vintage snowman, but this is the uh, snowman. I called the snowman Santa and Santa snowman. What is wrong with me this morning? Vintage Santa, but this one's his whole body, but it does have different uh, facial expressions and different uh, uh, poses. I do like that it's not the same Santa everywhere in, that, in the faces. Diagonal stripes with the cream. And the last one is the vintage um, holly with a cream background. So Santa Baby, Christmas Metallics will be A, Santa Baby will be two, A is $5 and B is $7. It is huge, it's got 60 sheets. Okay, ladies, that's in. <clears throat> oh, Mousy, if I was going to do Christmas, I probably needed to start in February or March. It, if you make a bunch of stuff for Christmas, it just takes forever, especially among the other things that you want to make. Okay, Candy will get B. Got it. And Kathy Rawlings will get A. Good morning, Miss Kathy. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Candy. And Kathy gets A. Kathy R. Thank you, Candy, and thank you, Kathy. All right. 
We have a few dog hey, lovers. Mary, Mary Ann, yeah. can, you, can you give one of each design of that to Reba? Sure. Oh, that's so sweet. That is very sweet. Well, I only need two. So the third, third one. What a gift one yeah. of each design. Can you get any more of the Santa baby? To Reba. Um, I don't know. Gigi would like one if you can. No, I don't. Um, I can try. Um, we blow out a lot of this stuff. I'm going to be able to go see what I can get um, Christmas-wise uh, coming up here real quick. Okay, I'm going to put up uh, Christmas stockings, and while they're up, I'm going to move some of these Christmas things off to make some space here for the other things, and we'll do some non-Christmas things. How's that? This will be an ABC. And these are three Christmas stockings that are stuffed. They are not identical. They're close. They're similar, but they're not identical. And they're not identical be just in case somebody wants more than one to have matching stockings in their family. You would get different things in each, in each stocking. So let me first make sure you can see the whole stocking. They are... They are not old. They are not vintage, um, more than a few years, but they are um, made to look vintage. So like the, made to look like the hand stitching, the patchwork, super cute. They've got the twill um, a hanger up here, which is nice and heavy duty. Okay, this one is A. It's going to take a minute to show you what's in them, but I'm going to show you what's in them. Or do you want to just make them surprise? Anybody want to make them surprise or do you want to know what's in them? No response. Not yet. <laughs> okay, there is. Andy says a surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will tell you that the value inside is way more than what the price is going to be. So, um, um, and here's an example. Here's a Martha Stewart punch. A Martha Stewart snowflake punch. So far, they're all surprised. Okay, good. Cool. I love that. I love doing a surprise like that. As long as I know, like they say, the value inside. We're, okay, so that's A. B is the same stocking, if you wanted matching stockings. I like these because you can do whatever you want on here. So if you wanted to put people's names, or sometimes families will put a particular picture of something that that family member really loves, that's you know, free for you. I need to turn these sideways there. Free for you to do that. And then C, same colors, same fabric, same hand stitch look, but a different style. So if you've got two grandparents and a grandchild or something, or you just need to do one for somebody, um, but it is, it is um, matching, but not identical. And like I said, they all three have um, different things in them similar but different and the value is way more than the twenty dollars they're going to be twenty dollars each any one of them and there's yeah way more than 20 inside i don't even know what the stock what i haven't bought a stocking in so many years i don't know how much the stockings are i go for so let me move some of these things over while you put those three in and we'll we'll just have to call them stocking a stocking b stocking c and I'll stick the note inside them with that on it, Candy, so that I know to keep A and B separate. Unless it's okay, same, that's in, ladies. The same person, it would be, wouldn't have to worry about keeping it separate. But. Okay, napkins. Don't want to tip over the napkins. Okay, they're sold. Okay, give me just one moment. Make sure that all these napkins are where they're not going to get tipped over. Miss Debbie saw me pack these. They are full of goodies. And then I stuck a couple more things in there, Debbie, afterwards. Oh, wow. I thought, eh, there's a little room. I can stick a couple things in. Why not? I'll just keep packing. 
because I like doing, I, I love putting together gifts for people and packs. I love doing like specialized gift baskets and, you know, stocking baskets and things like that. Okay. I am ready. Okay, Kathy Rollins gets C. B. Thank you, Kathy. And Margolo gets A and B. Kathy R. Cool. Okay. So Kathy gets C. I'm going to move this one over here. And then Margolo gets A and B. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Margolo. So what do you guys think so far about the camera? Is it better today than it was last night? We are on a completely different side of the table. I hope this side works because it's the last side. <laughs> uh, so far, I like it better. I think it looks good, and and I haven't heard that. You haven't heard it card good. in the in the bicycle good. smoke for a while. Yeah, because uh, I think I knew what that was. I told you before, and so that's gone. I I um, did a screw mount on the camera. Um, this is a pillow. Look at this adorable pillow in the shape of a Christmas tag. There's the uh, ribbon on the top of the tag and it says, love lights the season. And it is velour, red and cream and with some green embroidery. The um, words are embroidered in gold sparkle. Isn't that cute? It's, where's the, it's, uh, Kind of large this would be a super cute one for a little grandchild to fall asleep on but i did it will squish down some and it will definitely fit in a medium flat rate box with other things so so it's about uh 14 inches long oh and wide wide it's about nine inches wide and about three inches deep. I just thought it was super cute. I just don't even know how to price it. <laughs> so, um, so Debbie, let's just do first me five bucks because I don't even know how to price it. I just thought it was such a cute tag. Okay, that's in ladies. Hey, it's a tag. Yeah, it's a tag. <laughs> Suze will take it. Thank you, Suze. I hope you got a little somebody who could lay their head on that. It would be so cute. Okay, put that one by. <clears throat> the stockings. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do an A, B here. And A will be for dog lovers and B will be for cat lovers. The first, I think we need the black thing behind it. This is a piece of vellum. A moment, let me get the black craft mat to put behind it. It's a piece of vellum and you can cut all the things apart, um, all about dogs. Animals are such agreeable friends. They ask no questions. They pass no criticisms. Love that. Sit, shake, roll over. My buddy, my pal. Until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. That's true. A dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than he loves himself. <laughs> dog on cute. There, that's It's just cute. Full of all kinds of things like that. It's a 12 by 12 vellum sheet. And then there is a sheet of stickers. King of the Yard, 
365 dog food, <laughs> dog food 365 days a year, all kinds of just fun dog things. And then there's another um, sticker sheet that just has other fun dog things on. So we're going to put those three together uh, for uh, $3 for dog. Do you want me to call it like dog pack? Yes. Thank you. Okay. That's a good idea. Dog pack. And then B is going to be the cutest cat book you ever did see. Look at these cats. Um, I, got, I have to show you the inside of this because this is so most precious. I've been hanging on to this, but look at this. There is the hall of their house, everybody's portrait. They all have a name, Motley, Blossom, Agnethia, Octopussy, Spiro, Malteser, Gabrielle, Twiglet. <laughs> I like Twiglet. Gemma, oh, look at Chesterton. Look at Chesterton, Margie. I hope Margie's still here. Margie, are you here? And so the story is called Meet My Cats. And it goes through and talks about the cats. Each one has a name. Each one has, the pictures are just great. Look at the feathers in there, carry the feathers around. It talks about each cat and it has a little story, a little background story on each cat. And it's just, it's really, really an adorable book. Look at that, look at this cute little litter of kitties. Oh my goodness. I can imagine if I brought a kitty in, Lucy would look at it and go, what, you brought a live toy? <laughs> Oh, I love little tiny kittens. They're super cute. But aren't these pictures great? I just thought these were really awesome images. Even in the garden. Uh, they did a really good job of illustrating this. In the back, there's a whole other wall of the portraits. So that is going to be B. And Can that was $5. Okay, those are in, ladies. Um, Debbie and Candy and Glennis, if you're here, what do you think of the lighting today? Does the lighting seem to be as good, better? I like good? it. Okay. I feel like it's a little bit better, but I may not always see exactly what you see. I'm looking at my YouTube, and my YouTube, look, YouTube looks nice and bright. Other than the fact that I need to learn how to center things on a new location. <laughs> but I'll get that. That's not the most important part. Okay, Kathy Lake will take the kitty book. Kathy Lake. There was Hi. a lot of interest for the kitty book. Oh, I wish I had a whole bunch of those. That's pretty awesome. Um, and dog pack is available. Okay. Meet my cats. And good morning, Kathy. I don't think I got to say good morning to you. The card clicking sound is still there. I just heard it again. Wow. Now it's gone. Okay, I got to figure out what that is. I got to figure out what that is. Okay. I think I've heard it so much I don't, that you I don't, don't notice, notice it as anymore. much now. <laughs> yeah, but that bugs me. I don't want it. Now it's here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try adjusting a couple things that might, that could possibly vibrate. That's what I'm thinking. Um, that's all I can think if something's vibrating. So I'll try this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all those pieces that I pulled out last night to tease everybody with at the very last second. Let's see, we'll try that. Okay, I did a quick divide into piles to make it easy. Okay, Cassie would like to send the kitty book to Margie. Oh! <gasps> Oh, Kathy, so 
That is so sweet. You just made Margie cry. That's amazing. Thank you. So Kathy is gifting this book to Margie. Wow. And she definitely deserves it. Thank you, Kathy. And you may or may not know that that um, Chesterton in there, that little cat Chesterton, looks just like her Getty that she just lost. So that will be very special to her. She will not forget that. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, we will probably need that. So, okay, this first batch. Yeah, we'll definitely need this. This first batch will all be $4. What are you calling these? These are, oh, we're going to have to. For candy? Yeah. Oh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to call these, uh, we're going to call these cross stitch one and two. You know what? We're going to make these the same because they're, um, they just face a different way, but they're the same thing because then we can put this one up as B and they're identical. Okay. So this will be cross stitch one and cross stitch two. No, this isn't cross stitch. I mean, you don't see any of that on here. These are all just the yellow flowers. So, and let me see if there's any more cross stitch. There is. Okay, so this will be cross stitch one. And then B will be yellow flower um, strip. Okay, so cross stitch one, number one. And there's two of them available. Is there two available on A? There's two A's and there's two B. Let me get that okay. up there. There we go. B, um, you wanted yellow flower what? And B, strip? we'll we'll call yep yellow flower strip. Thank you. And they're all okay. four dollars each. And they're right? all four dollars each. Mm -hmm. So there's two A's, two B's available. Let's go, ladies. And this one is yellow flower strip. I can't spell and there's two available. Okay. All right. Did that sound stop? Yes. Okay. Let's see if it stays stopped. If anybody hears it till I made one adjustment. So if anybody hears it, let me know. So then I'll know it's not that. And can try something else. Hopefully that's it though. Okay, Jen will take one A and one B. Okay. And Gigi will take a B. Thank you, Jen. And thank you, Gigi. And there's one A available. So there's one A available. Okay. Okay. And these go right here. Good going, Jan. She pulled over. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Smart, Jan. Okay, this is the last $4 one, so we'll just put it up by itself. This is um, pink roses and pink flowers. There's only one available. So we'll call this, um, hang on a second here. We'll call this pink, uh, uh, pink flower strip short. Because there's going to be a pink flower strip long in the $5 one. Okay, that's in.
I love how they look satiny when they embroider them. Like Good morning, Shelby, and Miss Shelby will take it. Good morning, Shelby. How are you? And thank you. Okay. All right, the next grouping is $5 each. The first one is pink flower strip long. This is like the one we just had, the $4 one, but it is a dollar longer. So you get three of the large flowers, more of the leaves, and more groupings of the small flowers. Just one? Just one. Pink flower strip long. That's in, ladies. We love you too, Jen. All right. Okay, and I don't have an interest for that. Okay. We'll call that one available. Okay. Okay. This one is A. I'll show it to you first. There's a lot of cool embroidery on this one. Uh, pink flowers, yellow centers, pink and yellow butterfly. And I love all the cutout embroidery. It's pretty long. Um, there are two of this one available. That will be A. And so we'll call this one pink flowers with butterfly. How's that? Pink flowers with butterfly. Are you going to put up a B? Yes, there will be a B. I'm okay. sorry. I just want to write okay. that down. I, I just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, B is going to be uh, cross stitch and it will be this. I think it goes that way, but I'm not even sure. I think it goes that way. It'll be this larger piece plus the two small pieces that'll all go as one so that will be b and those are all five dollars correct oh, help if i could spell um so we'll call this one um two piece cross stitch candy because there's two pieces in the grouping And A, there's just one of, right? No, A, there is two. I'm sorry. Two. Thank so you. there's one B because they go together. Okay. And then there's two Bs. Each one is separate. Sorry, I can get a little confused. No, that's okay. <laughs> tension, right? You'll get to read my, my mind. <laughs> no hate here. We just sling poo. <laughs> now, Candy, if you put an H on the end of it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's no room for hate spewing. There's too much of that in the world. Okay, that's in, ladies. A little yeah, slow, but in. It's okay. We got time. We got all the time in the world. Poopy heads. Who's <laughs> in Katie? Uh, candy. I think she meant candy. <laughs> okay, Don gets B. Got it. Thank you, Don. Gigi gets A. Okay. And Margalo gets A. The other A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put that one I I know I said this and I, I know this sounds really stupid to you guys, but if you knew how many hours I spent trying to get everything done and pack orders, I'm so excited to pack orders this week to see how much faster it goes with this new system. It'll be really awesome because it might even free me up some tutorial making time. Yay. Can't wait for that. Or some live crafts, just craft and chat, hang out. Yeah. Um, you said Gigi and Margolo. Thank you, Gigi. And thank you, Margolo. I know I'm setting these in a specific spot and I'm like, oh, these are going to be perfect to pack and all ready to go. Organized is good. Organized makes me feel good. I like organized. 
Okay, this is the last $5 piece, and there is only one. It goes along with the red, uh, the red candle one. It's the same color, the Christmas flower. So it's actually a white poinsettia with gold center. And then there's a lot of cutout um, embroidery on the bottom. That's it, the last $5 piece. Um, what are we going to call this? We'll call this one uh, white poinsettia because it's, I think I think it's the only one with white poinsettia. If it's not, there will be enough other on it that we could call it something else. White poinsettia it's... red ribbon. I spelled poinsettia wrong, but it's uh, close. P O I S period. <laughs> yeah, we don't, I don't like. I tell you all the time, don't even bother to to stop and correct it because everybody knows what it means and it just wastes your time. Because you know, I type stuff in the fat fingers all the time. I thought there was another I in there. P O I N S. P O I N O S. There. Um. Sweetheart and Dawn are going to split. The two smalls. Uh, okay. Wait. wait okay. Wait, yeah. A second. That's the okay. embroidery. Dawn, I'm sorry because I didn't know who Diana was. Um, oh. Okay. Um, yes. Sweetheart Diana. So, hang on a second. Let me pull it back to make sure. Okay. I organized. You are talking about this one, right? So, just a and, second. Let me make sure I read this right. Yeah. Um. Sweetheart's gonna get the large, and Don is gonna take the two smalls. Okay. Okay. Um, so candy, we're just going to do that. That was $5. So we'll just do bill 250 each. So Don will be. Uh oh, I think you lost Marianne. Uh oh. <laughs> Marianne went bye, bye. Yeah, she'll have to go out and come back in. Hopefully she realizes she's no longer alive. <laughs> this be a good time to take a break, ladies, and refresh. <laughs> Okay, and let us know when you're back from the refresh, please. Pretty please. Thank you, Candy. Here she is. Well, there almost. we go. That was very strange. It just kicked me out. Okay. Whoo. Sorry about that. I'm talking to you and all of a sudden it just kicked me out and my screen went black. We did a refresh. Oh, uh, I was just gonna say, we forgot to do a refresh at the changing of the guards. So you guys did a refresh, awesome. I'm gonna do that on my YouTube real fast. Candy reminded us. Thank you. If you uh, feel so inclined, I would love a thumbs up. That would be really awesome. The Pickerwood got her. <laughs> Commercial break, that's awesome. That darn woodpecker. <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys are awesome. Yeah, make sure you're back to live chat. Um, so was there no interest in this one? Uh any interest in the white point setter, ladies? White point setter with the red ribbon. Pooslinger. <laughs> so I got sweetheart on the large piece and uh Dawn on the small piece, 250 each. Okay, this one will go over here then. 
Okay, that one's available. Okay, the next batch will all be $7. Here's some gorgeousness. Look at this edging. This is some pink and some green. And, and it, it is um, thick. Glenis taught me last night that you can put glue on the back. That way you can cut between things and not worry about them unraveling if the stitching is too close. And look at these. Look at this little stitching along the inside there. This is such beautiful embroidery. There is a lot to cut up here if you want to cut up or a nice edging. There is actually two of these, Debbie. Okay. So there'll be two of A available and one of B. And this long is, pink strip. Um uh, let's do yeah, long, long pink strip. That'll work. That'll work. Long pink strip. Now are you gonna remember this is a long pink strip and the other one was a long pink flower strip? Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Okay, then let's do this. Let's do this. Scallop. Let's do Yep, that's what I was going to say. Let's call it scalloped pink border. Or scalloped pink strip. That's better. Scalloped pink strip. Thank you, Candy. Scalloped pink strip. And there's two available. So, okay, and then B, there is only one available. Look how pretty that is different shades of pink and peach. That would be gorgeous on a journal. This flower right on the spine and that wrapping around, that would be really pretty. And there's- Were yeah. those off of like a tablecloth or- A, a table runner. Table runner, oh, yeah. okay. Yep, they are parts of a table runner. Oval? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oval. How about oval pink roses? Oval pink roses. Okay, ladies, that's in. I'm going to get my comments caught up. The sound is bad. Oh, was the sound gone for a while? Mm -hmm. oh. it's bad. Shoot. Okay, Candy gets B. A is available. Okay. Thank you, Candy. Okay. So first, when you said sound, I thought you meant sound like even being able to hear, but you're talking about that little irritating sound, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Clicker. Yep. Then I have one thought of one other thing to try. Oopsie. Didn't mean to bump the camera. Sorry about that. And let me see if I can wedge that in. Okay. Is it gone? Yes, right now it's gone. Okay. Uh, okay, if anybody hears it, let me know if it's back so I'll know if this worked or didn't work. All right, the last grouping. I don't know <laughs> if that's the last or not. I can't tell if there's an, another grouping underneath it. Jen's back. Okay, this grouping is $8 each. This is peach, not pink. Now that I know Glennis's trick and I can put glue on the on the um, back and separate it, yeah, that made me look at this piece differently. First, I want to show you because both ends are identical, so I want to show you this so you can see it up close. Look at that gorgeous! That's a, a peach, different shades of peach um, pansy. Yeah. yeah, super pretty, and I love the cutout embroidery. But now I look at this could be used as an applique on its own. This center would be gorgeous. And then this one over here. But I was looking at this big thing up here in the center as needing to be used all together 
not being able to cut it apart. But now I look at that differently and I would cut it either like this and use that, or I would cut it so either vertically or horizontally and use that nice um, embroidery there. But so you've got actually two of those. So each, if that, if I cut that down the middle, each side would have been in the $4 grouping. That's why eight for eight for both of them. But that is really gorgeous. I've never seen peach pansies before. So we'll call that peach pansy. What's this shape? Peach pansy double because they're two. I don't know. Um, does that have an hourglass? Peach pansy hourglass? Unless you've got a different, a better shape for me. That I okay, just the one. Works, Candy, see? I said the hourglass works. Okay, but okay. your sound is back. It's oh, not shoot. as bad. So something you did, when it does it now, it doesn't seem quite as loud and it cuts off shorter. Okay. So maybe tighten up something a little bit more than what you did. Okay. Peach pansy hourglass. Okay. Do you have a B or just the A? Uh, I do. I know if I do have a B and there's only one of that. Okay. And then B, look at this pretty linen. This one, I really love this one. There are four distinct pieces in here to cut. And I would definitely pay $2 for each of these appliques. They're probably, um, even on a low end, $5 appliques a piece. But four distinct ones there, you get that the whole um, round there. So we'll call this one four butterfly circle. Because it's the only one with four butterflies in a circle. All right, let me see if I... Okay, those are in, ladies. All right, is the sound on? No. No. Shoot, I was open. That one did it. Okay. All right. Um... Those are sold. Okay, give me just one second here. Sure. I'm going to rearrange a couple things so I can play with the stability of that. Ooh, I've got chocolate chips. <laughs> okay. Okay, I am ready. Okay, Jen gets A and Gigi gets B. Thank you, Jen, and thank you, Gigi. Okay. It's there a little bit. It is there now? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, still in the $8 grouping. A lot to cut apart on that too. These little pink flowers would make a really nice edge of something if you wanted to cut them off individually. The um, cutout and, and all this main, the main swirls are like ivory color, super pretty. And this is shades of peach to pink. But the way they're done with the cutouts here, you can cut the three roses apart and they each have their own leaves that I liked you can come right between the leaf and the roses and have three separate roses to use there. I like this, this little thing right here as one separate one. You're a little I, bit blurry. I uh, saw that. Okay. Might've been moving too fast. Okay. There is two of this one, two of a, what do you want me to call that? So um, 
what do we call this one, Candy? Three pink roses group or because we've got strips and borders. Um, three pink roses group. Okay. None of the others are grouped. Hope that's okay, Candy. Okay, and then we've got a B. So there's two of A. All right, and then B. Oh, B is purple. This is so pretty. And there will also be two of um, B. So this would be purple poinsettia or P-O-I-N-S period, <laughs> the easy way. Um, but again, look at this. You've got one gorgeous, that'd be so pretty on the front of a journal. Just that whole, this looks like a window. If you put some acetate and put a little person's face behind it, that would look like there's a person looking out the window. And then you've got the center section and then another window with the purple poinsettia and little tiny purple flowers starting to bloom up there. There is two, two of A, two of B. That's in ladies. Even looks sort of like lily pad. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. It's funny, I'll look at it here, but then I'll turn around and look on my screen and I see something different on my screen. Just the, the dimension gives me different perspective. Jen will take B. Jen gets a B. Thank you, Jen. Gigi will take the last B. Thank you, Gigi. And Shelby will take A. Thank you, Shelby. So there's one A available. Okay. How's the noise? Is it still there? Sweetheart said she'll take the other A. Oh, you got it. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, let me pull that one back out. Whoops. That's me. I keep smacking the metal, metal thing there with the box. Okay, thank you, ladies. Gigi says she's going broke buying these. Yeah, trust me, I understand. I fell in love with all these table runners. Okay, this is the last one. And it is peach. This is the peach pansies, shades of peach from very light to very dark peach. There's no pink in this one, it is all peach. Even the pale flower down here is a light peach. Again, I love the cutouts in, in, in the embroidery. There's two of these. There will only be an A because it is the last one. So there's two available. So uh, let's call this peach pansy group because it's the only one where they're grouped. Peach pansy because we had another peach pansy, didn't we? This will be the peach pansy group. Okay, that's in, ladies. And then we're going to have to do a giveaway. <laughs> Jen changed your name again. Okay, both of those are available. Oh, Jan, you crack me up. 
<laughs> and Glennis wants books. I was just going to say, let's go to books next. Let's shake it up, baby. Little, let's go to books. Okay. I'm going to bring... I brought down a couple of different... No, let's do a giveaway first. Okay. Give, me, give Margie away. <laughs> let's do a giveaway. Since we've got 23 watching, let's do um, 1 to uh, 30... One to 30. Um, I should put something up here to hold the, see if we can hold a focus. Let me turn around here and see what we can do as a giveaway. Oh, and let me also grab some of these old books while I'm over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, when you think everybody's in, go ahead and put a stop, but taking me a minute to pull this out, so take okay. take your time, make sure everybody's got a number. Guys nice check for duplicates. You know, all well, the usual. Okay. Last chance, ladies. Anybody else want to put a number in? We're going to give away a little Bow Bunny fall pack. Okay, the stop is in. Thank you, Penguin, for holding the spot. Okay, we're going to give away two packs of Bow Bunny um, layered chipboard and brads, all the fall colors. Love these with the little uh, enamel centers. They're very pretty. So, okay, let me get the random number generator up. Random, random, random. Random. Okay. And what I say, one to thirty. Yes. One to thirty. Okay, so there's one to thirty. Hit generate. Oh, it picked thirty. Wow, I think that's the first time I've ever seen it pick the top number. Thirty. Did anybody hit? Did anybody say thirty? Um, Susan twenty nine. Nobody at thirty. Yay, Sus. Sus wins. No. Way to go. I need the black marker for this. Question is, where did I put the black marker? I don't think the purple will be visible. This one will work. All right. Congratulations, Suze. Suze, giveaway. And Sue's giveaway. There we go. Yay. We'll do some more. We'll do more giveaways. I like them every now and then, not just waiting until the very end. Okay, books, 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 books. Let's get this down. Um, I've got some cool books. I'm having trouble pricing some of these, so we might just do some quick, quick auctions just to let you price them because I just, some of them I'm just not even sure. Some of them are just so cool. Um, Glennis, you asked me if I had any readers. This is not a reader, but it is a complete English grammar. Wow. And look how it's debossed. It says Indiana State Series. And it's debossed in the cover. Indiana State series. These are super 
super old. This is 1891. Indiana School Book Company, Company, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. So copyright 1891. And it's um the complete English grammar. So um I don't know. Let's do let's I don't want to auction every one of them off. That'll just take time. Let's do um let's do an ABC. That'll be A, complete English grammar. And B, this particular box is so, so old. Another super old one. Actually, that's the back. Get somebody's figurings inside there. B is called complete arithmetic with oral and written exercise, again, from the Indiana School Book Company, Indiana Educational Series. And somebody did a lot of their math figuring in here. This is copyright 1886. And so this one has, um, I mean, complete arithmetic. All right, there's a lot of ephemera throughout this one. And it's somebody's like they were doing their math exercises and they just stuck them in there and left them in there. And I just left them in there. So like literal pieces of their school paper, totally aged their notes. I love what that does to the pages. I love when it makes the pages brown. Um, these pages, these signatures are sewn in. I know there's a bunch more. I saw more than one place where they were. Uh, the aging of these pages is really nice. There's some more right there. It is so um, almost falling apart that it's turning by signatures. That's crazy. Love the look of these pages though. You do not, not need to coffee dye these papers. These pages are perfect. Perfect as they are, do not need to coffee dye them. So B is, what was it called? Complete, complete arithmetic. arithmetic. You got it, thank you. B is complete arithmetic. And C, let's see here. Um, is that? Wow, Glennis, I guess I have more of that type than I thought, so hopefully you're hanging around here. Um, I didn't even get into the bottom of that book. Some of those, I'm going to get one that's about the same. This one is called General Science. Oh, look at that. Man's conquest over nature. That's a cool plate. This one is um, Gin and Company is the publisher. And the copyright is 1914 and 1918. So last copyright is 1918. 100 and what is that three years old um, because it's got that one plate I want to do I haven't even looked at this quick glance or oh this one's gonna have great images throughout uh, because it's science science is always gonna have good images a pocket barometer oh goodness standard barometer gonna have pictures of all the science things which sometimes gets in cool steampunky corn smut, which is a parasitic plant. <laughs> There's some bugs. Can you hear it cracking, moving? Again, you will not need to coffee dye these papers, these pages of any of these three books. They are amazing as they are. A 
Okay, so we've got one on grammar, one on math, and one on science. All amazing old late 1800s ABC. Um, let's just flat price them all. And I think they could all be the same flat price. I need to figure out, see how many are in the box, how many were in this lot. Let's just do them for $10 a piece. Good morning, Angie. Good to see you. Okay, the sound, you hear the sound back? Not right this minute. Okay, ladies, that's in. I'm going to look for, let's see here. Okay, Gwyneth gets B and C. Thank you, Gwyneth. And Mousy Deb gets A. <clears throat> I'm not putting sticky in these. I'm folding the sticky over because you never know if the sticky sticks to the pages and tears them. So I don't ever trust that. And then Mousy gets A. Thank you, Glennis, and thank you, Mousy. Okay. lots of old books in just a whole variety of types so all right here's one that we have to do an auction on check out this book it's like four inches thick it's an amazing book. It's called Marks and Monograms on European and Oriental Pottery and Porcelain. So if you have interest in the pottery and the porcelain and you always see those marks on the bottom and you don't know what they mean, you know, I mean, obviously they tell exactly where they're from, um, what century, what family, what dynasty, all those things. This was gifted to somebody. Somebody bought it in 1958. Somebody else uh, got it in 1968. Let's see what the... Published in 1946, the 14th revised edition. Now, I'm sure that uh, obviously there are new revised editions. These don't change. They just add to them because obviously they're not going to change the, what the, they mean and where they come from. Um, because there was a lot of porcelain and ceramic made back then, pottery made back then. But um, I, if I keep this, I'm going to end up uh, tearing it up and using all the little cool symbols and things. And somebody's going to hate me for that because there's going to be somebody or somebody's out there that are really interested in like the China pottery and what dynasty they came from and how do you tell Look at this. There's the eight precious things on Chinese uh, symbols. And then here's the symbols that are used as marks on the Chinese pottery. Continued over there. Now, then there's the marks that tell you what the dates are. These are the marks that give you the dates. And then these are the marks that give you the dynasty from 206 B.C., to present. So I've been hanging on to this one because this is really, really a cool book. Look at these pages and pages about all the different dynasties. And I've got a few pieces that I should probably look up before I pass this on because I've been wondering about them and I just haven't looked on that. I didn't even think about doing it honestly. 
Um, but yeah, if I keep it, I would probably end up tearing it up and using it. And I think there's somebody out there who probably has much more um, pottery and, or um, porcelain and is more interested in that that could use this and keep it. And it is an amazing book. I'd love to see it used. So yeah, all the way through. Um, there's on Dresden. That's the whole chapter on Dresden. So I'm glad they kept the book jacket on because it protected the book. The jacket shows its age for sure. But look at the book. The book is in amazing condition. Amazing condition. So I will put a small reserve on this, but let's start it at um, $10. Marks and monograms, we can call it. Okay, that's in, ladies. If you want me to keep flipping through it, let me know I will, but I think that y'all probably know, have a good feel for it now. The other thing I thought about was pulling this apart and putting it into the paper packs. That would have been amazing. Look at all the pictures of the pottery up here. <laughs> would have been good to put it in. Margie, what? her pottery is early smuckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, hi, Tabitha. Yeah, that's the tough part when both sides have great stuff. That's good, Margie. I can appreciate a pretty jar. <laughs> a really nice, fancy, let's see if he'll like. Hello, Doug. Hi, honey. Did I turn? Annie's out. Jen's at 12. Don't let Doug bid. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm probably the one that would be bidding, and he'd be going, no, not more books. We have books coming out of our ears. We do need to look up a couple pieces, see if they're in here. Russia, Sweden, and Denmark. I guess I could give you an idea of. Are the Hummels in there? Oh, that's a good question. Let's go back because to the, the mark on the bottom of those changed a lot. Oh, over the years. I didn't know that. Okay. Editor's preface to the eighth edition, a short bibliography. Okay. Where they get it all from. And introduction. Sorry. I thought maybe there, that's okay. I thought maybe there would be a, more of a table of contents type. Less. Let's see if in the back. Here we go. Index. Let's see if Hummel. Humble. <laughs> Humbers. Painter. Hull. Humble. Humble. No Hummel. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Ireland pottery, Japan. I saw a lot of Danish and German, French. There's Paris. What year did you say that book was? Uh, 1946. Oh, Hummel started in 1935. Oh, okay. So maybe it hadn't been long enough for them to right. Looks think like that it was, that they, to know that there was going to be. So there's an index in the back and there's the bibliography in the front, which I think is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like it's referencing all the places that they pulled the information from. Good morning, Lucy. I don't remember if I said hi to you or not. Hey, honey, how's it going? Gotta go, Nana's Uber to the barbershop to get grandson. Nice. Well, you can hang with us in the Uber. That way we know you're safe. 
<laughs> yeah, most definitely. This, um, yeah, it's a big fat book, but no problem sending it media mail. Um, and if you have other books, I would put it with it. Otherwise, I'd just package it separately and weigh it um, so that you can ship it for a couple bucks. I would do that. Even if you have other stuff, I will package them separately because if you put other stuff with it, it can no longer be media mail and it's a whole lot cheaper just to send it as a book. Okay. Um, I think the last one was Jen okay. at 12. Jen at 12. Mm -hmm. let's, do, let's do a last call. Let's okay, do a last that in call, there. and I've got the timer. Yep, timer is okay, starting. Okay, last call. If anybody wants to attack Jen. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hi, Lucy Lou. Yeah, you're a sweet girl, aren't you? Okay. Here it goes. Okay, Candy got it at 13. Did you put a stop in? Awesome. I did. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, oh no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. She didn't, so Jen gets it for 14. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Debbie screwed me over. Jen gets it for 14. <laughs> Way to go, Debbie. <laughs> oh, honey, I saw your text. Awesome. I she will. Let the poo slinger win. Can you believe that? <laughs> the attention to the package. <laughs> Jan for 14. Awesome, Jen. That was a good buy. Oh, Tabitha, you're the Uber driver. Haha, <laughs> you're driving. You're driving the, your personal Uber over to get grandson. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. This, oh, that is a big book. Easy, hefty book. Uh, let me do a quick check here. Uh, okay, perfect. Whoops, bump the camera. All right. Let's see what else is in this fun bag over here. I got a bag of books and a box of books. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm going to pull them all up here. The Velveteen Rabbit. Velveteen Rabbit and oh Glennis there are some readers in this box I didn't even realize you can tell I haven't been into the box yet can I go on silent for just a second absolutely I need to um check on a call that just came in oh go ahead no go ahead okay thank you Okay. Um, Candy, is that ready? Get back here. No, I'm trying to position it now. Okay. This would be a perfect time. Some of the grunge off the table. So I'd like to introduce you guys to our newest record keeper. We're just, um, he's just setting up his camera right now. So we'll give him just a minute so we can put him on screen and you can meet our newest record keeper.
Oh, goodness, Glennis, I hadn't even looked through this box. This is an amazing box. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Is our record keeper ready? We're going to introduce, I'm going to introduce you to our newest record keeper. All He's right, ready. here we go. This is our newest record keeper, and his name is Eric. <gasps> Hi, Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. How are you? Look up at the camera up and the camera. wave. Wave. waves to everybody so all the people that you see all the chat there uh all the people that you see in the chat all the people are saying hi to you this is mr eric and he is with his granny uh candy he just got back from legoland with his half sister raven who just walked out the door <laughs> Raven was behind him and she just walked out the door. And Eric and Raven are both going to be crafting along with us tonight on our Saturday Night Live <laughs> Lap and Craft. That is yep. like the best smile ever. Isn't it? Isn't, it? Isn't he cute? <laughs> Eric, that's awesome. I have a little brother. He wants to work on that tonight. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Cool. I have a little brother named Eric, and he spells it the same way you do. And he has a great smile, too. Aww. Yeah. Um, uh, does, will the microphone pick up Eric if he speaks? Yeah. Okay. Eric, do you want to say something? Do you want to say hey Scoot to everybody? Just get up so they can hear you. There you go. Hi. Tell us what you did at Legoland. Made me feel like I was just gonna puke. Oh, me too. <laughs> he rode a roller coaster for the first time. No, oh, it my. wasn't really like a roller coaster. It was like, it was like a, it sat you up and down. Oh, oh, the roller coaster is the one you thought you were gonna die on, huh? Oh, but this, those ones that just go up and down or they go back and forth, those back ones. Yeah, like the big ship and you sit in the ship and then you go forward and backward and forward and backward. That one makes me want to puke. <laughs> yeah, he didn't ride that we one. We were on horses instead. Oh, wow. Yeah, everything had Lego like cars. Oh, bye, Doug. Got to say bye to Doug because he has to leave. Bye, Doug. Bye, Doug. See you in a few hours. <laughs> oh, Lucy just perked up because she heard me say his name. <laughs> Sorry, should have just said honey. <laughs> so it sounds like you had a really great time, Eric, and you brought home some new Lego kits. Wow, and you already made one, I heard? Uh, no, he's got four of them made, don't you? Oh, my yeah. gosh. He bought, he brought three I back. Need, I, I only need to finish my Ninjago one. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a, You it's a big, big are one. about the fastest I've ever seen doing those. That's he's, amazing because you just got back a couple days ago. Yeah, he's really good. He's really good at it for his age. Yeah, look at those beautiful lashes and beautiful eyes. <laughs> yeah. See, this, this, this is the thing. My youngest grandson has the hair that makes the girls jealous. Uh -huh. oh, and this one has the eyelashes that makes them jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like his hair, too. Yeah, I do, too, it's but nice his eyelashes have always been and, thick like that. Yeah, and pretty. Okay, so, Eric, are you ready to create some stuff with us tonight? Yeah. You ready to play with some supplies and get messy and dirty and gooey? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you really do. Hey, I'm going to put it on Raven's face. Yeah. Nice. Where's Raven? Raven? Is, too. Yeah. is she behind you? Yeah, she's in the nope. kitchen. Tell Raven to come stand behind you so she can say hello to you. Right. We'll talk to her a while. Raven. <laughs> Miss Raven. <laughs> and then you can let her have the headphones. Oh, Jen's son is Eric too, and he loves Legos. He's a collector. Oh, awesome! I'm a builder and player instead. Wow! Well, you're pretty much a collector. Which is which is also a collector. Yeah, builder and player. And there's Raven. Hi, Raven. Say hi. Oh, you better sit down. Okay, there you go. Put him on. <laughs> Hello, Miss Raven. Hello, Raven. How are you? Good. 
Haven't seen you in a while. Did you have fun at Legoland? Yes, ma'am. Cool. I'm glad to hear that. And I heard you built a whole bunch already. Yes, ma'am. Cool. Um, we're looking forward to having you tonight with us at our Laugh and Craft. Yay. You ready to work on your uh, file folder thingy that you've been working on? Yes, ma'am. Nice. Cool. We'll get all your chores done today so that you can do that tonight and play all night with us, okay? Okay. okay. All right. We'll talk all to you right. later. Oh, bye. 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 Bye, Raven. Bye, Everybody bye. says hi to the pretty girl. <laughs> pretty Raven. She is. Okay. We'll see you tonight. All right. Bye. Bye. I know. She's got great hair, huh? <laughs> she's got great hair. Um... Oh, cool. Okay, so just so y'all know, Sharon is um, working on her art room. Um, Bill went on a camping trip and she can't camp right now. So he went for a few days. And so since she's got the house alone, she is working really hard to, to get her art room organized and um, to get some projects finished. And she did make a post in the group about tonight being finishing projects night and she's got us up on the tv so she can see and hear us on the tv but you know it's really hard to chat on the tv it's not even worth trying to chat on the tv so she just texted and said tell everybody hi from her so she's here too so hi sharon hello sharon we lost candy <laughs> everybody says hi sharon oh uh, that'll be fun tonight with the kids there they're good they're good crafters Okay, um, let's just put a uh, Velveteen Rabbit up by itself for five dollars. Oh boy, take your time, take your time. Okay, that's in, ladies. run out of room here and miss kathy get oh wait yep miss kathy gets it kathy rawlings awesome thank you kathy um let's see um, one second sorry i'm trying to pull some of these things out of the box and the bag there's some amazing books. Here, company. Okay, Kathy gets this one. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. So here is one called The Boy Mechanic. These guys over. The Boy Mechanic. It is 700 things for boys to do. And it has 800 illustrations showing how. My favorite thing about the book is look at this signature. I just love this writing. I'm just in, in awe of the back then when this was their normal writing. George Phillips Scholar from his uncle Michael A. Phillips. And it is so careful with these pages. Mm, copyright 1913. 
Here's the first image, how to make a glider. Seriously, for a boy, here's instructions on how to make a glider. <laughs> Just what we need is the boys running off the cliffs on, with a glider. How to construct wireless outfits, boats, camp equipment, aerial gliders, kites, self-propelled vehicles, engines, motors, electrical apparatus, cameras, and hundreds of other things which delight every boy. 800 illustrations. And because it's over 100 years old, those illustrations are going to be, like if it's how to construct a, a bike or a plane or um, a glider, they're going to be of that time. That's kind of cool right here. How to make a full suit of armor. <laughs> um, here's a machine belted to a motorcycle that, so that you can drive a washing machine that's powered by the motorcycle. <laughs> um, how to make a telescope stand and holder with a camera tripod, but you're making the camera tripod yourself. So lots of great, here's details of the glider right here inside. How to make up, what do they call these, centaurs, which is half man, half horse. <laughs> I just found this fascinating. There's a couple people in my mind that I thought would just really love this one. So dog powered cart, lots of good illustrations. If it's not something you want to keep, this is amazing for collage, long distance phonograph. The illustrations are just all really cool, full of them. I did find it fascinating though, some of the things it's teaching them to make. So it is um, a popular mechanics um, published book and copyright 1913. And I'd like to auction that off because I don't know how to price it because I think it's just a personal value. I find it an amazing book, but um, let's auction that off um, starting at 10. Okay, ladies, that's in. <laughs> that's her, Jen. That's, <laughs> I hate my job. I had a bad day. Then he says, I got a raise. I'm like, what? That's a good day. <laughs> No bad day if you got a raise. That that negates any bad day, anything bad of the day. All right, I lost my YouTube. Got to go back to that. Um, coming up pretty soon, we'll do a, a YouTube refresh. Anyone else interested? We've got candy at 10. Okay. Do you want me to do a last call? No, Deb, you just need to do a stop. <laughs> Really. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Wait, I'm just wait, kidding. I'm confused. kidding. <laughs> don't mess don't, with the newbie. <laughs> really? <laughs> that was good, Debbie. <laughs> I don't know what the lag is, so we'll give them just a minute. Because Okay, raise at 11. Be, okay, people might have different lags. Oh, Candy's in the lead now. Oh, Ray's in the oh. lead now. <laughs> Trying to carefully open pages of the next books to find the copyright. It takes so long because I'm so afraid of tearing any pages. Okay, Candy's at 14. Ray's at 15. Candy's out.
You want me to do a last call? Yes. If it was only Ray and Candy, then last yep. call. I last call is in. Timer. And let's see. Okay. Okay, and um, Ray gets it at fifth. Oh, Ray gets it at fifteen. Nope, 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 nope. You need to look at Streamyard. Gigi came in right when you. I'm sorry, Gigi right. got it. She she came in like Whoa. right before you put that stop in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she snuck in there. She came in while you were typing stop. Oh, sorry, Ray. Yeah, that literally came in while she was <laughs> while she was talking, and by by hundreds of a second. Thank you, Candy. Beat the stop. So she got me all rattled with it. doing that stop for. Her. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to teach you how to work it for me. There it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really. Uh, oh. Says to give oh, to Gigi. Oh. You are amazing. Oh, Gigi, thank you. You don't have to do that. Yeah, she knows she doesn't have to, but she wants to and can't deserve it. Gigi, <laughs> that just gave me chills, Gigi. It did, Gigi. Thank you very much. It did just give me chills still. Oh, wow. That was, that's really awesome. Gift to Candy. Thank you, Gigi. That was awesome. Wow. That's cool. Very sweet. See? See, that's just how this group is. Hi, huh, Lucy. Lucy's at me, looking at me like, yeah, I see. <laughs> that's what you call a no drama family. Everybody takes care of everybody. All right, we're going to do an ABC here. A is an Indiana State spelling book, 1891. These are like the readers, the spellers. It's, um, yeah, these are, I love, I love the cover. I'd put a new spine on it and use the cover to make a journal. It's really a cool cover. Okay, that'll be A. B will be the, um, 1889 arithmetic. Frank Fred Schmidt in 1889. Elementary um, arithmetic. We had one similar before. Oral and written exercises. The one before, I believe, was a different year. So that'll be B. And C, I love the cover on this one as well. C is a third reader. It is missing a few pages. It, uh, and it doesn't have the date. Obviously, it's um, uh, late 1800s, just like these, the same from the, in, it's an Indiana school book. Um, yeah, I would just put a new spine on and use these covers. They're just, they're just amazing. It's missing some pages right up front. There's the contents, and then there's missing some pages, and then there's all these lots of good illustrations in this one. There's the back. Okay, so that will be C, A, B, C. We're going to do these for 10 each. Okay, those are in, ladies. We rock the craft world, peeps. You are so right, Kendall. You, you, you hit the nail on the head. You hit the, you hit the brad. What do we use a hammer for? <laughs> I don't know. Stupid analogy. Okay, Candy gets B. Marianne needs chocolate. Stupid analogies are coming out. <coughs> candy gets B. Thank you, Candy. <coughs> Patricia gets A. Thank you, and Patricia. 
I'm sorry. No, you're Jen, fine. Jen gets C. Thank you, Jen. I like you to be a little ahead of me. Then I know where I'm headed in my writing. Jen, Jen retracted on Facebook. Oh, okay. I mean, on, on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> okay, Jen wait. retracted. Okay. So then, on C. Um, Glennis gets C then. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Glennis. What? Oh, Lucy. All of a sudden, my light moved. Lucy's under the desk and pulled the cord. <laughs> Glennis gets C. Thank you, Glennis. Woo, that made me look straight into the light. And now I can't see. I am blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Okay. Yeah, those will need to be well protected. All right, is our lighting still good? Since you moved that around. Yes. Uh, okay, you just let me know if I need to adjust it. All right, here we have from the Indiana State Series. This is green and it is debossed. All of it is debossed. Intermediate lessons in English grammar. This is copyright 1893. Beautiful naturally dyed pages. That one is green. This one is red. Elementary lessons in English, part first, how to speak and write correctly. Don't you love that? Part first, not part one, part first, how to speak and write correctly. Um, this one is 1891 as well, the Whiting and Knox language series. Copyright 1881 and copyright 1886, published again in 1891. Uh, oh, there's some nice script in this one, like that. Uh, again, the page. None of these kind. Of, none of these books will you ever have to copy die. Please don't. You might destroy them. And this one, oh, another one of uh, uh, debossed and it's got the leaves all over it. Practical English grammar. It's um, again a state series. This one is 1896. Copyright 1896, Marks of Punctuation. Uh, the participle, don't have a dangling participle. That is C, ABC, $10 each. That's why Jen retracted so Glennis could have that book. See how awesome we are? I say we, because you're all part of my, my heart. Okay, those are in, ladies. You straighten that out. Okay, Jen gets C. Lucy, where are you? What are you doing? Are you stuck? Uh oh, hang on just a minute. Okay. Lucy's been standing there so patiently because she got the cord between her legs and can't go. And rather than pull the light down, she's just standing there waiting. And when I didn't see her, she finally just gave me a tiny little whine. Hello, I need help. Thank you, Lucy, for being so patient and not just ripping it down. Okay, back, back, good girl, back, okay, wait, okay, this will come down, okay, now you can step, step, good girl, step, other foot, good girl, there you go, okay, you're all free, you're all free, good girl, yay, thank you, good job. Thank you for not just ripping that down. We'd have had a light lunch. Just for that, would you like a treat, Lucy? Come here. Would you like a treat? You can take this up on the couch. 
Pick which one you want. That one? Okay. There you go. <laughs> She's so sweet. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's okay. You have a message from Gwyneth. Oh. Um. On your phone. Okay. Let me get there. Yes. Cool. Uh, do you want to say or just uh, do it privately? That's up to you. Okay. Tell me again. I missed who okay, you said. Okay. Jen gets C. Thank you, Jen. And Kendall gets A and B. Awesome. Thank you, Kendall. There's a person at the front door. I think that means Doug's package is probably being delivered. When we do a changing of the guard, I'll go up and grab that and we'll take a five minute break and everybody can refresh. We'll do that in just a few minutes. Okay, who likes super, super grungy? Let's see. Well, that's a good one. Um, let's check this. Okay, I got a couple super, super grungy here. I know there's a few of you that like those. The first one is another Indiana State Series. This one is Elementary Geography. And this is 1889. This one has great images in it from 1889. There's llama train and with uh, carrying the coffee, crossing the mountains, animal life in South America. These are all plates too, by the way. You can always tell by the ink. All these pictures are plates. So this is an amazing book full. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Look at this is a piece of onion skin that was in here. Um, I'm sure it's probably been in here for a hundred years. Dr. Humphreys specifics. Dr. Humphreys had um, a lot of the tinctures. Specifics are cures for specific things like fevers, worms, cough, dyspepsia, things like that witch hazel oil this is called 24 um general debility which is for brain fog wow so this came right off of the packaging of that that's cool three sizes 25 cents 50 cents and a dollar i will leave that in there that is very cool um all these little images are plates There are some really cool ones in here. That's Australian scenes. United States, New England States. I'm not flipping every page, just stopping on a couple of random here and there. Cotton plant and a sugar refinery. Southern states. Productions and occupations of the southern states. Okay, this is a super cool one. That will be A. B is also part of the Indiana State um, School Book Company, and it is 1889, copyright 1886, copyright 1889, and it is complete arithmetic, oral and written exercises. It's a little bit thicker than the previous, but it is missing its back cover. Just so you know, looks like there's some ephemera in there too. I just saw it, things like that. I'm gonna leave those in, any that are in there. 
Okay, so it's a little bit thicker than the others, but it is missing a back cover, as is C. Just a minute, Lucy. C is, ooh, look at those stamps on there. That looks cool. This is Ray's New Practical Arithmetic. Uh, Joseph Ray was a late professor in Woodward College from the Eclectical Educational Series. So Ray's New Practical Arithmetic, and this one's copyright 1877. And again, this one's a little thicker than the others, but it is also missing its back cover. So these two are super grunge. So B and C are going to be $10 each. And then A, this with, with all the amazing uh, images in it that all come from plates and the cool pieces of ephemera, this one is going to be 16. So 16, 10, 10. Here, Lucy. Which one would you like? that's in ladies Come over here. girl okay candy gets a awesome thank you candy that's an amazing book and glennis gets b and c okay Thank you, Glennis. So a little while ago, Glennis got a math book. It's in the stack here. But Gigi, Glennis would like to give you half of that math book. She is gifting you half of her math book. So and then you know. she, Glennis just put in there gift half of B and C to Gigi. Oh, uh, in addition or instead of do these two? Uh, she did not say. Just Glennis. let me know, Glennis. Maybe she maybe maybe you're saying thinking leave the other one all together and just take half of both of these. I can do that. That's that's an awesome gift. Instead. It's okay. Perfect. Thank you, Glennis. Wow. That's yeah. Gigi gifts one that Candy will love. Glennis gifts one that Gigi will love. You guys are amazing. Gift half to Gigi. Glennis, thank you. That's I know Glennis loves these books. So if she's gifting half to Gigi, Gigi, you know she loves you. Okay, both of those. Awesome. And I know Gigi appreciates it. Last time, Gigi bought a ledger and gifted all the pages inside to somebody else. So, you know, what goes around comes around, whether good or otherwise. That's my belief. Okay, what else is in the box? Oh, the children's hour. This has a fabric cover. Children's hour is printed on it belong to Ernest Tucker, Uniontown, Indiana. Uh, the Children's Hour in 15 volumes illustrated. This is volume 14. Oh, wow. Look at the, this. These are plates too. Colored. Uh, Modern Triumphs selected and arranged by Eva March Tappan. Between the dark and the daylight, when the night is beginning to lower, comes a pause in the day's occupations, and that is known as the children's hour. I like that. Uh, this is copyright 1916. So the children's hour is going to be full of um, stories and lots of images. 
the Solibra Cut Panama Canal. Give you an idea of the types. This is a powerhouse at Niagara Falls. Wow, that's kind of interesting. If you've ever been to Niagara, that's interesting. The Mississippi River Dam at Keokuk, Iowa. I don't know if I said that right. Keokuk. Keokuk. The Grand Central Terminal, New York City. The Key West Railroad. I just grabbed a section in the front of the of the book to run through some of these. So there's still a whole nother rest of the book. The Steel Arch over Hellgate, East River, New York. Wow. What, Lucy? Come here. Um, building the New York subway. Wow. How the New York subway is over a hundred years old because this was printed in 1916 and there's pictures of them building it. The Pennsylvania Railroad Terminal, New York City. Lucy, oh, who's this? Who's this? Admiral Peary and his daughter. That's cool. So there are a lot of good images in this. The uh, Johnstown, Johnstown, Johnstown flood. I can speak, sure. Lucy, what? Did you get yourself stuck again? You can't keep doing that. I'll have to go put a box in front of that cord so she doesn't. Just one minute, Lucy. You just have to learn not to step on that. An army airplane, aeroplane. Um, a Zeppelin. So this gives you an idea of the kind of images. Whoops, passed a couple. But anyway, you got the idea. So um, the children's hour we're just put in by itself. Um, let's let's do a an auction on this one and start it at ten. She gets another treat. <laughs> Got a treat for being patient, and not just ripping the thing down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's not going to continue. Okay, the door's open if you want to go outside. I'm just going to realign where this cord is. Okay, I don't know if she moved the light. I'll have to check that when I come back. Move this over this way a bit. And we'll keep that. We'll get that one right out of your way. How about that? Look, let's move this one so you don't accidentally step on that one either. I'm still figuring out the cords, Lucy. You got to just give me a couple times. Anyone interested in this book, ladies? If you need to, just put in a last call. And okay. Anybody's interested, they can pop in then. Okay. okay last call is in. Okay. Okay, you don't need to go over there. But you can go outside the back door. Okay. Did you finish already? Did you set the timer? Um, I didn't. 
and I'm going to say it's been about 30 seconds. So okay. you can Stop. follow. Okay. That one, one is available. Okay. You want one? Take it. Okay. You have Damn. to be careful with that word. T-R-E-A-T-S. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Massimo perks up. He thinks it's his. That's true. <laughs> so does uh, Sharon's Chaos. Any Marvel fans? And then he looks at you like, Mom, I heard the word. Where are they? Yep. <laughs> right? There you go. Look that one. Okay, this is a composition book. And um, I've never seen a composition book with this cover. Um, but nope, take that one. Here, look right there. Just take it. It's just a chew toy, this one. Okay, it's a, a regular composition book. Um, I don't know the date on it, I know that it is old. I know that it was very old based on the paper and the picture and the marble composition book. Um, but that's all I know. And the, the type of the paper that's in. Oh, I might have to work with that light again now that she moved it a little bit. But it is a, it's a, it's a, what do you say? A brand new old, a brand new old composition book. I really like the cover. Probably take the cover off and use that as a journal cover. Um, so we're going to put that one up as A, and then B is going to be American Government in 1925. That is debossed. There is a picture of the, um, is that the capital? It's the, the capital of the, yeah, I think that is the capital. American Government in 1925. So I'm going to guess that this is probably copyright 1924. Okay. This picture here is the United States Supreme Court in 1924. Wow. Um, problems with a consideration of the problems of democracy. So there's some really good, uh, interesting um, discussion in here about um, all those kinds of things. There's some cool pictures throughout. There's, there are some places where there are just a couple pages of pictures all together. Public education, there's a lot of pictures, discussions on the public education, different things throughout. So, okay, so we'll make this one B. And A will be $4 and B will be $8. That's in, ladies. Okay, they're sold. Okay. I'll take B. All right, where did my stickies go? I probably knocked them on the floor. B. Thank you, Debbie. And Jen gets A. Awesome. Thank you, Jen. Okay, so this I will make this one the last one, and we'll take a five-minute break so I can go get Doug's package off the porch, get Lucy some lunch, and um, everybody can refresh YouTube. Go get yourself some some lunch, something to drink, whatever you need. And then we'll move to something different when I come back. We'll do an auction on this one. This is the Geographic Postage Stamp Album with Maps of the World. And it is a book full of stamps. I said full, but it's not completely full. There are stamps on some of them. Some of them there are images of, well, you know how it goes. There's images on all of them, and some of them have stamps over the images. Some pages are completely full, like this one. 
other pages not so full like that one. Um, let's uh, start this at eight dollars. Okay, that's, that's in, ladies. And I will keep flipping through it so that you can see all the different countries. Those of you who are collectors know how this works. Oh, look at that, a whole sheet. Uh, different countries. So uh, different countries and then they're, they're the particular. So there's some countries where they don't have any for and there's other countries, there's Canada, other countries where they have lots for. Czechoslovakia, got some good ones. France, Germany, they got a lot. Okay, we're at 16. Jan and Glennis are at 16. Okay, there's a lot of loose ones in between. Um, Candy's kept, out. Kept it on its back to make sure they stay in. It will, like, you know, your books usually are when they're fragile. It'll be bubble wrapped to make sure they all stay inside and protect it. Jen's at 25. Glennis is out. That's cool. Poland, Romania. I'm skipping pages. Gigi's at 30. Jen's at 35. These are sets, like sets from Czechoslovakia and Hungary. Bahawal Poor. Those are really cool looking stamps. I don't even know where that is. But these three stamps right here are really cool looking. There's even a stamp up in the corner of the book. Look at that. Christmas greetings. Huh. Wow. Yeah, they held it together with tape. Did a good job of holding it together. Okay, the highest bid so far is 35. Okay. Is it getting hot again for anybody? We had a couple of days of reprieve, but now it's all hot again. Way, way hot. I couldn't believe how many of the um, how many of the states are having record-breaking heat too. Like, oh, and I read that um, this weekend, Death Valley is set to break the all-time world's record for hottest temperature during the day. Is that not amazing? I mean, it gets hot in Death Valley, but you'd think like Sahara Desert and some other places would be just as hot, maybe have been hotter, but uh, let's see. I see Kendall at 31, but Jen was already at 35. Right. So Kendall, just in case you didn't see that, just so you know. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Kindle's out. Okay. Let me do last call. Yep, let's go ahead and do last call. We'll start okay. the call. Last call is in. Okay. Okay, stop. Uh, Gigi gets it for 37. Oh, and Jen came in right after the stop. Right after the stop on stream. Way to go. Gigi snuck in there right before the stop. She's Gigi's got good timing today. Gigi at 37. Thank you, Gigi. 
Um, Jan, I think I have more of those. If they're easy to grab, maybe I'll grab one and bring it down after our quick break. Um, when we come back from the break, we will start with a door prize. And I have something in mind, if that's easy to grab upstairs too, since we've been doing cool books. Uh, congratulations, Gigi. That was awesome. That'll also give me a chance to move the book. So we'll take five minutes, five uh, full minutes. In fact, um, I know that I'm just going to put commercial break up on here. That will give me a chance to run up, get Doug's package from the porch, get Lucy some lunch, um, see if I can grab an other postage stamp book and grab what I'm thinking of for door prize if it's handy because I'd like to do that. And when we come back, we will start with um, a door prize. I said that and I'm looking around. Oh, we got so much to choose from. Okay. And Miss Glennis will be back. And yes, I'm sorry. That was, I'm thinking to myself, there's something else to say and I couldn't remember what it was. Thank you. Thank you, yes. ladies. Thank you for Debbie for um, your part today. And Glennis will be back after the break. Okay, so see you in five minutes for door prize.
this siren is getting to me. I would sing, but everybody would leave. Marianne wouldn't like that. Oh, what happened here? Hi, Julie. Oh, there's my here, Marianne. We are back. Um, Julie, uh, Robin, what's going on Robin with Linda? On. What's going on with Linda? Is she okay? Did she have surgery or she been ill or something? All right. So my phone told me that there was somebody at the front door. I assumed it was a package delivery for Doug. I go up there and there's no package at the door. So they will still come at some point. That should show up on my phone. Um, Glennis, did you already uh, send out the link for tonight to put it in the group? Did you already send out the link for tonight and put it in the group? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yep, I was going to say, if you didn't, could you do it now? There you go. <clears throat> All right. Is everybody back? Did oh, everybody? Margie, you right. You don't want anybody to. Hopefully nobody stole. Oh, on. yeah. Um, I don't think so because. I only got one notification of a person at the front door, but it could have been somebody walking down the sidewalk and there you go. But let me take a quick look at the camera and find out. Uh, camera, camera, there we go. Front door. Event history. That event at 153. 
Yeah, nope, it was actually nobody at the front door. Well, okay, so they're not... Hmm. Nobody's there. Okay, so I'll just have to pay attention for that. Um... Just under the weather, allergies have been very chronic. Oh, that can be miserable. That's like having a cold or a flu forever, and it never stops. Okay, let's start with, um, is everybody back? Hopefully everybody's back. If you refreshed, make sure you're on live chat, not top chat. Make sure to touch your screen and the word live. You want a red dot beside it. The mail sucks. <laughs> yep, that's the only one I got. That one and this one. So you want it? That's it. Go ahead. There you go. Um, yeah, make sure that you have a red dot beside the word live. So you don't end up missing out on something that you might really want. And we'll start with a door prize. Um, actually, we're going to do two door prizes. The first one is for everybody. And the second one will be for anybody who has ordered today. It says there's 27 people watching, so let's go 1 to 35. Keep it small. That way somebody's more likely to hit it on the head, right? So let me come over here and get... There you go. All right. And I did find the other postage stamp box. So I brought that. Um, what are you guys most interested? I've got you some brand new notebook products. Can, got, you go ahead. Change short. Got some Stamperia paper. Got uh, some new Stamperia paper and chipboard die cuts. And got some linens and some doilies, got a whole bunch of new Ranger alcohol. Thank you for watching for duplicates, Glennis. Okay, I'm going to put a stop in. It looks like everybody. Okay. See if I can get a focus here. Margie, I know Kim has a dupe. Uh, Kim's 11 is a dupe. Hi, LaToya. Kim, go ahead and put in another one. If you're here, maybe she got pulled away, and that's why she didn't hear you guys saying that. There is 21, 16, 32, 22, 13, 16. Kendall, you might have already put in another one, but Kendall's is a dupe. Um, 28, 11, 2, 11. Okay, Kim. So Kendall, Kendall got another one. 4, 8, 25. Kim, 19. Okay. Go, yep. Yeah, thank you, Glennis. And the ghost is back. <laughs> uh, perfect. Okay, so we went 1, 2, 35. Let's hit generate. And it picked 17. Is there a 17 on the dot? Just a minute, Lucy, please. There's a 16. Um, oh, oh, I didn't notice. Two 16s. Oh. Shoot. Uh, no, Kendall, Kendall picked another one. Uh, Glennis, you're cutting out really bad. I don't know why. Okay. So, okay, so is it Julie? Oh, 
Julie. Is it Julie? Awesome. Okay, Julie, the Bow Bunny layered chipboard uh, ephemera pack is this first gift. And the second one then is going to be, let me write Julie on there. See, that just doesn't work. It needs a dark one. The second one is going to be for everybody who has placed an order today. And that is going to be one of the amazing Horizon art books. So if you have placed an order of any kind, of any amount for anything today, uh, pick a number between 1 and 35. Julie, there you go. I gave Lucy some lunch. She ate the whole thing down so fast. She'll be that good. What did you say, Glennis? You're cutting out really bad. We're getting about every fourth word. Twenty-one, sixteen, thirty-two. Th uh, I was mentioning she's Shelby. That that puppy is see. Uh, Glennis, try to refresh. You may even need to go out of StreamYard and bring you back in because we can hear that you're speaking, but it's we literally get about every fourth word. Can't even tell what you're saying. So let's see if we can't bring you in with a new connection. Okay, I'll works. go out. Okay. 32, 22, 13, 16, 28, 11, 2, 11. Oh, is that the old one? Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me start on the new one. <laughs> that would help, huh? Uh, there we go. 1 to 35. Okay, 28, 32, 13, 9, 22, 11, 18, 24, 30, 26, 32. Didn't we have a 32? We do. Suze has 32, so... She pulled it. Oh, because oh, you have to put it twice. Okay. Um, Reba, 7, 20, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45. She was telling Shelby that the pup was crying. Oh, <laughs> Yes, she's sitting here whining at me. I gave her, she ate the whole bowl down just super fast. I would have given her another bowl except of time staying up there. And uh, so I just grabbed a little bag of um, snacks for her and brought it down. And she's still hungry because she's eating these up as fast as I'll give them to her. So, okay. Uh, Candy, do you want to go ahead and type a stop in? Go ahead. There you go. Go ahead. Yep, nope, this one. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. And here, if you want it, it's right there. I will do, we're still on 1 to 35, so we'll hit generate again. Oh, geez, it jumped from 17 to 16. Not very far. Anybody right on 16? Let me get Glennis back. See if we can get a better connection for her. Is anybody right on 16? Let's see. No, you got Jen at 13. The closest is 13. Wow. Jen, you will love this art book. Are you familiar with the Horizon books? This is November of 1958. And they always have fabulous art of all kinds. The book covers all kinds of different <coughs> uh categories and um types and topics and yeah lots of cool stuff in here so this book is going to mrs jan thank you jan goo poo <laughs> ah Suze, you know she loves you when she calls you goo poo <laughs> here you go there you go all right that one goes to jan and that is a giveaway Awesome. All right. I have um, a set of Halloween. Mar Marianne, had you said? I'm sorry?
And do you say the closest being that was under? I didn't even say. I didn't even say. Did we have a closer than 16? Because 18 was. We also have an 18. Dawn okay. has eight. Dawn has 18. Oh, okay. So they're the same distance. One under, one over. Okay. Then I've got more Horizon books. I'm going to. Well, Jen, Jen also said she would pass on that honors. Nope. I'm going to send one to Dawn and one to Jen. Okay. Okay. Candy, as long as you've got that down, I've got one for each of them. Because they were the exact same distance away. Cool beans, you both get them. Because they're very cool beans books, and I know you'll both love them. Okay, we need to get focused here. So we can focus on the witch. The wicked witch. Uh, okay, come on, camera. Let's get a focus. Ever since Lucy messed up my light here, it's been a little wonky. You are so welcome. Can you get the witch instead? If you really wanted it, but come on, Jen. That's a very cool book. <laughs> okay, so I have three of these dies. They have both witches. It is one die that goes through and cuts both witches. So it's the same witch in two different sizes. This one, let's tell you exactly. The small one from tip of her toe to the top of her hat is one and a half inches tall. And the big one from tip of her toe to the top of her hat is two and a half inches. So great for ATCs or cards or any kind of um, Halloween decorating you're do doing. I have three of them available. We're gonna sell them today for $7 a piece. Um, first three me's. Serious, Jen? I mean, if you really okay. want the witch instead, That's in. yes, you can have one, a witch instead. No, if you would really rather, I thought you'd really like the art book. But if you'd really rather have a witch instead, yes, uh, you may have a witch instead. So there's two witches available. Okay, so that's Jan, and then the book is going to Dawn. Yes, ma'am, you are so welcome. Still two witches, though. And I'm going to put in that they are available. Okay. Now that whether Halloween fans, I know it's not Margie. <laughs> okay, that one goes there. And this one goes there. One moment. This one stands here. All the giveaways go together right there. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, sweetie. Why don't you go on outside? Go on outside and run around a bit. Go potty. Come back in and take an afternoon nap. <laughs> that sounds good, doesn't it? Did you lose? <laughs> you did. There it is. There you go. Okay, so this is going back over here. All right, so um, not that one. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> Kathy, you, you mean you want one of the witch dies? What'd you say, Glennis? <laughs> I know your ways. Oh, well, Kathy, Kathy has down. witch downs. I'm just checking whether she wants a, a, a witch die. I presume she does, but I thought I'd have her check. Yeah, double check. That looks like she does, but, you know, I always like to make sure. Kathy, did you want a witch? Yes, she said yes. Okay, you got it. Thank you, Kathy. So there is one witch die remaining.
Kathy R. Okay, here's another stamp book. Want that one? This one is um, a hardcover, the Imperial Postage Stamp album. So it's a different manufacturer of the album or printer, I guess. Copyright 1981. Flags of the world, all the things. But they're all pretty much laid out the same where it has all the countries and then um, you just add all the stamps in the places by the countries. So um, Sarawak, uh, let's let's do um, an auction. Started at ten. There's some cools. I like when they're loose because then if you wanted to use them on something, you don't have to try to get them up. I love these that are different shapes. I've got a bunch that are different shapes and things that uh, I've never seen. The blue undo works just fine. Oh, yeah. Didn't even think about that. And okay, uh, bye, Robin. I, and this is not I need to this sort them and organize them. Thanks, Robin, for stopping in. It was good to see you. If you get a chance, stop in tonight and work on an unfinished project with us. Ecuador, Curacao, China, Chile, Canada. Um, is Candy, is are you is Glennis sounding garbled and very cut out to you? Yes. Oh, I wish I knew what that was. Oh, I like when they put these on these little um, attached. Yeah, oh, they, yeah, most of them should be on them hinges. Even yeah. when they're flattened, sometimes those hinges yeah. flatten down. Because then they're not... Uh, they like come that right off. Yes, I do like that. doesn't destroy the stamp at all. Glennis, did you change anything or do anything different? Uh, I went out, I suggested. Yeah, you just did go out. and Now that right there, I heard you say... Julie, tonight will be good then for unfinished. Mm -hmm. Yes, Margie. Yes, Margie, you can use undo. Um. But a lot of them probably won't even need it. If they're on that hinge, that hinge comes right off. It's just a yeah. little glassine. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, is a glassine hinge for that specific purpose. Yeah, that's what most and stamp collectors use. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that until I started buying these books. Yeah. Um, which I, is really smart. There's a hinge. It's just glassine. Most of these are old enough that they will just pop right off the glassine if you just... I'm not, I'm not going to pull it off, but I can see that one would come off super easily. The last one I touched fell right off. Julie, I find it has a very slight smell and it goes away so quick, you don't hardly notice it. I have not found undo to have a smell, but you might have a hypersensitive nose. It is supposed to be um, odorless. Let's see. It's very, very slight. Like it's not okay. noticeable, really. You just might be. Um, much better at smelling things than than me it's more of a, a sit i don't know it has a little smell but nothing like nothing like not that. like undo or a, a uh, goo gone <laughs> nothing like that yeah goo gone yeah you know you're walking into a goo oh, gone yeah. smell it on your hands you smell it 20 minutes after you've used it <laughs> so you're saying that any little smell that you smell it goes away as it evaporates it's and it, that it goes away yeah, so goes away fast, fast. It's just a little Julie, I smell. don't smell anything. Um, I'm usually pretty sensitive to smells, headache-wise, if they're bad smells. I'm putting it up to my nose. No, this is, this is too dark. <clears throat> what? 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 What are you 
over there trying to get whining about? Okay, we're at 25 huh? right now. About that one. You want another one of these? Look, look, there's your bone to chew. Look, right there. Go get it. Go get it and go sit up on the couch. So, would you like to look at some if you're bones? Please let me know. Nouveau, do you want to look at some Stamperia next? That's all. That's all that's in. Jan, I've never found the undo has smudged anything. Yeah, I've never found it smudge anything. I haven't taken stamps off with it because I'm not a stamp collector, but I've never found it to smudge any project that I've done, ink or anything. Any further bidding at 25? Jen and Candy are out. Margie says Stemperia. Nice. Jen's going to experiment I'm for with the ink. Like I need any more. <laughs> oh, it'll take that jam label off. Just great. Julie. Oh, yes. Yes. What I have found. Shelby, are you still in? Did you say Toby? Is Toby back? I couldn't hear who you said. I, I said Julie. Okay. I didn't think Julie Shelby's was out, in. so I'm putting in last call. Okay. No, I, we were talking about undo. Oh, I thought you asked if she's still in, like in the auction. <clears throat> no, I asked Shelby. Oh, okay. Boy, I hate when the connection gets like this. Jen likes the undo. <laughs> yeah, isn't it amazing? I do, my opinion smells like and sold. It smells like bug spray? Sold wow. to Kendall for 25 Awesome. Thank oh. you, Kendall. That, I'm not. She must have pretty weird bug spray. Yeah, I've no, I cannot. Um, I guess if, if I had to say something, I would say citrus, but I don't think it smells. But if there's something, I would call it citrus. But, but you know what? Some bug sprays can smell like citrus because, I don't know, because citrus is supposed to be a repellent to a lot of bugs on the ground. What? I don't know what you want, sweetie. I really don't know what you want. Yeah, they're supposed to be. I don't know what you want. Congratulations, Kendall. She's like, finally, I beat everybody out. Okay. Put that one there. You can go outside. Look, go to the back door. Go outside. Go up the stairs. Go outside and play around for me. <laughs> yeah, he heard you laugh and just turned. She heard you laugh and just turned right towards the the computer, Glennis. Okay. Hey, Lucy, go outside, Lucy. Go outside. You hear Glennis? She said, go outside and play. Yeah. Yes, you can. The door's open. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. She turned around and walked to the door. She's looking back at me like, is it really okay? Because this is a new door. It's the first day it's been open for her. <laughs> She's going to go upstairs because that's how she usually goes outside. She'll find that door's closed and she'll come back here. <laughs> Lucy does want a cuddle. She probably wants wanted a cuddle from me. I should give her one. Okay, this is a pack of stencils. There are three stencils in here. And they're cookie stencils so that you can take, I'm going to open one to show you because they're kind of hard 
to figure because they're clear. They're clear stencils. There's a snowflake, an arrow, and Christmas trees. And you hold the little tab and you can put it over a cookie and then sprinkle uh, powdered sugar or sprinkle um, tiny sprinkles, the little, little teeny tiny sugar balls or any of those. Hi, sweetie. Do you just want to love? Come here. Come on up. Up, 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 up. Up. Oh, she wants something that I don't have here to give her. I just can't tell what it is. What a good girl. Um, anyway, so they're made as cookie stencils, and that's why you have the little handle here. But we all know that we don't care what stencils are made for. We can use stencils for anything, and they're really nice, flexible uh, stencils. So they would be good to use on any project stenciling. And I do kind of like the handle because I could set it somewhere on the paper, give it a quick spray, and spray the snowflake and pick it right up. So you get three in the package, three stencils. You can also, if you notice, lay it down and trace around the outside along with the little square on the top. And you have a perfect little ornament. They are gonna be a dollar twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven of them at a dollar twenty-five. And there will be a B. Oh, oh, I'm okay, sorry. There, no, there won't be a B then. <laughs> we'll get rid of the A and it'll just be the just be them. What, sweetie? What? Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Here we go. Come get some mama loves. Oh. Yes. A little cuddle. Oh. My sweet girl. You just needed some loves. Lucy just needed some loves. Okay, I need to get another notebook stack. Give me just one second here, Luce. Where did I set it? Where did I? There it is. Okay. One minute. Let me get one of these. Sandy will take one. Thank you, Sandy. And I'm going to put that there available. Okay. Yeah. Yep. She just wanted to come up here and get some loves. All right. So that one can go to Cindy. I'm just going to stick that right in there since it's the only one. Perfect. All right, that one goes right there. Okay, so now B, but B will be on its own. <laughs> this is a, another pack of stencils. I have Sorry four about of them. That. That's okay. They're Heidi Swap stencils and they're little tiny and they have a purpose in being little tiny. There's little tiny, let's see if it'll, uh that's not going to show so well maybe this will work getting it closer to the camera there's letters and numbers and symbols the next one has squares of five different sizes circles of five different sizes maybe it'll show better on the colored side there we go stars and hearts and the idea is if to use it in your planner or your journal if you like to make lists you can make lists and put those little things to the side for check marks. So depending how the size of whatever you're working on, you might want a different size um, square box and gives you a perfect little box or circle uh, or star or heart. And then there's the lines. So if you want a place to write, but you like me can't write straight and I always end up going up or down hill. This is a slit so that you can take your um, sharp pencil and just go or pen, whatever and uh, just draw on those slits and have perfect little lines to stay in line. And then here's the check marks and 
uh, triangle, exclamation point, X's, things like that. So if you wanted to use that check mark to get the fancy check mark inside your box, you could do that. And the last one, also great for uh, journal or planners, there's a chat bubble, the thumbs up, the peace sign, the finger pointing like that, the arrow. A couple of arrows, a couple of banners. There's um, a gift, a, a camera, a shopping cart, a geotag. There's some rain, some sun, some moon, some clouds, uh, a push pin, pencil, airplane, letter, things like that. So if you're putting, a lot of people, when they do their planners, they'll put um, the shopping cart on the day that tells them that's the day to go grocery shopping and airplane on a day they're going to leave on a trip, dollar sign on the day they get paid. Just fun, you know, it's just a fun way to keep um, keep your journal off that you have to do that or you won't get paid or get your grocery shopping done. But sometimes it is fun to break up the monotony. Okay, so there are three in each pack. They're all identical. There are, I have four available and they're just going to be $1.50 today. These letters, you can... Sorry, $1.50? Yeah, $1.50. You can also use them on anything else that you're doesn't have to be in a journal or a planner. Say you're doing okay. a, something on your gel print and you want some little raindrops. Here's raindrops. Both are in. It is time for the afternoon nap for Miss Lucille. Brought down just a few more grungy old books, too, some little ones. If anybody's still interested in those. And I've got some Don Stampuria. Don will take one. Some Stampuria right here. Thank you, Don. Don will take one. Are you still hearing the noise? It comes and goes. I'm going to put these as available. Did you get Dawn? I did. Yep, got her as soon as you said her. Okay. Okay, let's do an ABCD. I'm at a loss for that noise. So I'm going to have to. Are you hearing it right now? No, oh, I was grab. No, not right now. Okay. Um. Okay. Tell me next time you hear it, so I can see what's going on around me if there is anything. And I want to insulate that just a little more. Okay. See if that has anything to do with it. All right, these are little journeys to the homes of great teachers, great businessmen. It's back. Right now? It happened for just a little bit and then it went away. Back. Okay. And it's back again. Hmm. It doesn't seem quite as loud now. But it's still there. It's in the background. Okay, it's dead silence here. The air's not on, the refrigerator's not running, there's nothing. So it's got to be something in the equipment. What type of webcam do you have? Same as the one I use upstairs. I can't think of I can't think of the name, but I just I just ordered the exact same one that I use up in the studio. Hmm. 
and we've never had this problem. Now that's Lucy. <laughs> what are little journeys? <laughs> okay, little journeys are. Um, <laughs> Oh, they are a particular magazine that was published uh, looking for the date. Like this one is 1909. They're published by Albert Hubbard. Some of you may be familiar with that name. They have amazing stuff in them. There he is, Albert Hubbard. So he would go... It, basically like an investigative journalist or uh, uh, somebody like that that would go to the home of somebody that they felt was of import and uh, interview them and get into their personal life. And then he'd write these little booklets about them. So this is Little Journeys to the Homes of Great Businessmen. And the great businessman that this one is about is James Oliver. And so... As you go into here, there's James Oliver, 1909. These are really cool images. And so the whole book talks about all the things that you never knew about James Oliver, all the inside his life kind of stuff. There he is later in life. Um the few pages that I've read of them, there have been some really cool information. So that's about the great businessman, James Oliver. This one is to the homes of great teachers, and this one is on Plato. So if you ever wanted to know about Plato, um, and this I believe is 1908. I, yep, this is 1908. So he went and spent time with Plato. There is the picture of Plato. Yeah, you want to know what kind of man writes the stuff and, and does the stuff that we've got on from Plato? This will it's like an inside look into each person. The third one is on uh, great artists. The fourth one too. C and D are both great artists. C is Bellini, and this one is 1902. And Bellini, that this will be, uh, there's a page that did not get cut. Here's an image of Bellini, the great artist. It stays there. At one time, those would have been attached to the page, but they've naturally come off. Um, that one didn't get cut either. Wow. I love when the books don't get cut. They're just cool. Uh, and I love what this with the colored paper way back then that was very, very fibrous, what it does to the white paper as it ages. That's even better than coffee dyeing it. So anyway, if you want to read all about Bellini, I just I don't want to do any more damage to them. And D is about Botticelli, who is also uh, a great artist. And this one is... This is the Morris chair made by William Morris. I don't know. It's going to be, oh, that one isn't cut either. That one isn't cut either. Um, I'm looking for the year. Do you have a date for this one? I'm looking 1902. So Botticelli is 1902. So there's one on a businessman, one on a great teacher, Plato, and then two on artists. And they're going to be $8 a piece. And those are the last four. I've had a whole series of them at different times have brought out different ones of them. Uh, these are the last four I have, actually. Okay. That's gone in. Um, I don't have an F. I'm sorry. Oh, Suze. Oh, Suze, what I is the F supposed to be? 
Uh, <laughs> uh, don't ask, I'm just saying. Okay. You I will take. I will take B. Okay. Suze, what was the F? Not F. <laughs> Candy will take D. You got it. Botticelli. Thank you, Glennis. Thank you, Candy. Oh, it was supposed to be D. Okay, Candy, Candy will, take will take C instead, and, and Booth will take D. Thank you, Candy. That was awfully kind of you. And Suze gets D. Thank you, Suze. So James Oliver is still available. At least A is available. Okay. They are really cool books. Because nobody knows who he is. <laughs> I like the ones on businessmen. There's some really interesting things to learn from those. A few that I did get to glance through. Okay, I'm going to put that with those. All right. Top on before that dries out. Okay. Oops, did I bump that? Maybe kind of sort of. Yeah. asking if you have your camera setting on night vision. Um, I don't think it has option to change. You think we spend that much money on a on a webcam? I, yeah, <laughs> we're, talk, we're talking about uh, an eighty dollar an eighty dollar webcam, not several hundred. <laughs> yeah, move the filter over the camera can cause a clicking sound. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll go in and do a little research on this one. Never had that happen on the other one. It's a plug and play in my Mac. And um, I don't even believe that there's any settings that I can control. But if we constantly have problems, I will send it back. Get another one. All right. This is Eclectic English Classics. Uh, this one is La Agro Il Penseroso Comus and Lisidas. If anybody knows what that means, feel free to elaborate. Hi, Laura. <laughs> um, it is copyright 1894. Hi, Laura. Written by John Milton. So for introduction is about John Milton. Oh, in the four po poems comprising this volume, we have the best of the earlier works of John Milton. Okay, no criticism of them has been more widely accepted than the statement that they proved upon their first appearance that another true poet had arisen in England. Okay, so the poems in here are written by John Milton. They were written between the years of 1632 and 1638 when great questions of church and state were upsetting people. So, oh, look, somebody's comments writing all over with comments. I always like that. Um, I think not comments necessarily, but trying to understand and maybe defining words is what that appears to be. Okay, so Laegro, Il Penseroso, Comus, and Lesidas. Those are the four poems. Okay, Laura, see you in a bit. Um, so yeah, those are the four poems that are contained in here. Oh, look at all this written on the back too. Maybe they wrote their own poem. Mm -hmm. I like all that writing. Uh, again, no need to coffee dye these pages. They are gorgeous. So um, let's put John Milton poems <laughs> as A. That's going to be easier than writing all that out. John Milton poems as A. I feel like I bumped the camera or it moved somewhere. I've already or, got it written out. Oh, all of that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, Glennis. Okay, so that is A. And
This is going to be B. This is a farmer's ledger from 1834. This is coming up on 200 years old. It has, it's not a big one, but it's got very cool writing. I just love the fact, look how it's bound, just the uh, pamphlet stitch. I love the idea that 1834, 1836, I love the idea that I'm holding this book that almost 200 years ago, this farmer wrote in and kept his records in, even if it is small. I paid $38 for that. I thought it was very cool. Um, the C is going to be this bank book from Greenview State Bank, Greenview, Illinois. Look at their little acetate window in the front. And is this the one with nothing in it or the one with some? This is the one with nothing. So this is one of those new old bank books. So it's brand new unused, but uh, very old. I thought it had a year. I had two of these. The other one had a year because they had records in it. I should have written down. I should have written down because they were the same, they came from the same person, the same, so um, that would at least tell us how old this is. So uh, so I don't know, but I'm trying to remember on the other one, it was either late 1800s or early 1900s. So that will be C. And find an appropriate D. There's several that are similar, so I want to put them up together so they could be the same price. Okay, here we go. This is a workman's time book. Steampunk front already. Even the writing, even the font, I mean. Table of wages. For one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks worth of labor, how much they would be paid. And then it's a... Uh, put the month, but they didn't have the month here, but that's a time book um, to keep track of the individual employees. This is the month of October for 1895. And a check mark if they were there that day working. It's blank if they weren't. Wow, can you imagine keeping track of, I mean, remember time cards when we had to write it in, then time cards when you punched it in. This is um, really interesting. Um, some personal notes here or there, and a lot of it unused. So the time record, though, is from 1895. So we'll make that D. So we have A, B, C, D. D is going to be $8. C, I... I believe this is leather. I can't, I'm not expert enough to, to um, know that for sure, but I'm looking at the wear on certain places and it's wearing like leather does. So I'm going to say a nice debossing. I didn't tell you that, but uh, D, C will be $9. 
B is the almost 200 year old farmer's log. That one will be $9. And A is the collection of four poems by um, John Milton. That one will be $10. So 10, nine, nine, eight. That's going in. And you got in there fast. People knew what they want, huh? Jumped right and in there. And it's going to take C and D. You got it. Thank you, Miss Jan. Let's see, ABC is the bank book. And D is the workman's time book. And that is Jen. Thank you, Jen, on both of those. Anybody interested in A and B? Jen thinks it's your shutter making that noise. Shutter on camera. Really? So if it's um no, uh, wait, wait, wait. I don't think it's your shutter because when you whatever you're tightening, it changes the sound. And if it was your shutter, it wouldn't do that. Um, you know what I'm saying? When you tighten it, I it do. would affect the sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's your shutter. Because I okay. don't think you have one that has night vision because they would definitely tell you I, to have I it. don't either, and there's nothing to adjust on it, which is what makes me question that. Let me try something. Do you hear it now? No. How about now? Nope. How about now? Nope. I'm trying to make it happen. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. You want it to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm trying to force it happening. Could I, could I see B again, please? You can. It's like when they take your car and they're like, I'm sorry, we can't recreate that noise. It's just not happening. And you're like, it happens every day when I drive it. <laughs> B... He is the Farmer's Journal, William Gray, 1834. Okay, thank you. I'll pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's not uh, a ton of pages. It's just cool that it's almost 200 years and old. And it's back. Really? Yep. <laughs> All right, what did I do? I didn't do yep. anything. There it is. You took a breath? Really? That's about what I did. Well, I was trying to listen to see, is there anything I can hear here? And there's nothing I can hear. It's okay. I'm wondering uh, if there's... It's, it's something vibrating. I, well, I'm wondering if there's something loose inside the camera that's vibrating. Could be, or it could be that the mount that you have it on. The, I checked the mount, and it's super tight. But is it tight on the table? And yes, and that's tight on that. And that's what, when I said, is it doing it now? Is it doing then? I was grabbing the mount and um, pulling the mount and smacking it, trying to see if it would move and vibrate. <laughs> Seriously, that's what I was doing. <laughs> One, I smacked the table and then I was smacking the mount a couple of times and it, it didn't move. Again. It stopped again. Great. <laughs> 
Um, hmm. Wow, I don't even know. Uh, this one befuddles me. All right. All righty. Oh, let's do these little teeny tiny ones before before moving on to that. Oh, those too. I forgot about those. All right. I was going to grab something else. Um, gone. Gone. <gasps> wow. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to do those. I don't think that they're all that great. Okay. Um Jen wants to know what the brand is of your cam. I can't remember. Uh give me a second. I can look it up. Maybe you can figure it out. It's worth taking a minute to look it up if she can. Yeah, it's the same one I've been using up in the studio, um, but it, this one's brand new. I, I unboxed it down here and set it up down here. So if it came with a problem, I mean, that's always possible. Uh, let's see. Switch cam. <laughs> I like Mousy. She said it sounds like a toy motorboat now. It does. <laughs> oh. it's, not, it's not as loud as it has yeah, been. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just still there. <laughs> um. Hang on a second, I have to switch accounts. Okay, there we go. Now orders. It's a Logitech C920X HD Pro. Are you hearing it now? Andy, do you hear it now? Yeah, I hear it. Okay, so it's, it's still going, still going? Uh, yes. Stop. Did it stop? Yep. Is it back? Not yet. I'm sure it will be in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so it was going. I wanted to grab it while it was going, and I just grabbed it and squeezed it tight. I mean, it, maybe the glass is loose in it or something. Uh, who knows? Uh, yeah, I'd get it replaced. If it, if get a new one, see if it yeah, works. yeah. I will. I will do that. Okay. All right. So. What one did? What? What you said it was C? What nine something? Uh, C nine twenty. Yeah, mine's a C615. C920X HD Pro Cam. Yeah, it's the same one I've been using uh, for a couple years upstairs. Okay, so um, these two are GE day timers that they're diary they're diaries I see diary that they're guys and diaries so they're diaries would use Jen did you hear clicking when I grabbed it tight is when it went black that's when I grabbed it tight so these uh, electricians engineers I mean uh, could be both, could be electrical engineers. You can see diagrams that they write, figuring things out, lots of diagrams and notes. 
people's names and uh, numbers, figurings, and those are just throughout. More diagrams. Um, this is not super full. They are cute little pages. All, all the maps in the center. All the populations of U.S. cities in 1940. Wow. This whole back section is all full of data, which is cool. Like postal rates and electric equipment for home and farm and motor wiring and decimal and metric uh, systems and approximate density and heat data and melting points of 40 elements, <laughs> measures and weights, uh, General Electric Supply Corporation, uh, oh, all their offices, all the locations, all the people who are heads of those locations, um, GE Apparatus Service Shops, Lock Incorporated, uh, and a calendar for 1950 and 1952, because this is a 1951 um, calendar. Now I feel like I might have affected the light. I might have gotten a big old fingerprint on it. Who knows? Anyway, that is A. B is 1954 version of the same thing. Um, let's see if this one has... But this one, all of that information is in the first half instead of the second half. The second half is the calendar. So they decided to reorganize. Lots of cool little information in there, though. I didn't realize all that was in there. Uh, I like the, the half. Here's a 53 and a 55. This year is 1954. So you can see the whole year at a glance. And then you've got the calendar there. But... All the different things that are in here. I thought that was kind of cool. So A and B, and the only difference in them really is their year 51 and 54. 54, no, I thought it was a hair larger, but it's not. Might be a hair thicker, but they're the exact same size. There, so 1951, 1954. Um, I'm looking at color. Got to get them off out of the light. Nope, they're the same. And the light, one of them looked different. So, okay. And we're just going to do those for $4 a piece. If anybody's interested in that. 54, the year you were born. You better get it. Okay, Julie, we'll see you in a few, hour, few hours. Anybody born in 51? Okay, that's in. Today, Lucy. Today. Oh, happy birthday, birthday, Lucy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucy. Happy birthday to happy you. Birthday. Happy birthday, Lucy. Lucy. Happy birthday Ladies, to you. Those. These are available. <laughs> These are available. Okay. Okay, so let's do three and three. These are teeny tiny books. Um, they are by different authors. They are part of the Little Leather Library. And there's the, we've had the, a whole bunch from the, the Little Leather Library before that were the red leather. I have one of those that will come up in the next batch, but most of these are, are brown, and so they are from the same series. They have the embossing on the front. Let's get close enough so if you can see that embossing. 
it's cool embossing. This one is called Pippa Passes. The uh, cover is leather, obviously Little Leather Library. It is really cool feeling leather, and I love how it turns the page next to it. So beautiful um, brown. You can see what the page was and what it is right there. That's amazing. So this one is called Pippa Passes. What a difference. Yeah, Pippa Passes, P-I-P-P-A. Pippa Passes by Robert Browning. This one is called Comtesse de saint Jean. I probably butchered that, uh, by Dumas. They're all, you know, pretty much the same with the exact same leather cover. The covers are cut bigger than the book. And they, because of their age and probably how they've been stored, they always wrap around a little like that, which is cool because it really just protects the pages. Everyone I've ever seen has been kind of wrapped like that. Uh, this one is On Going to Church by George Bernard Shaw. So his uh, thoughts on going to church, I suppose. Okay, so we'll do ABC, and we've got a few more. Um, we'll have Excuse me, what was that again? On Going to Church. George Bernard Shaw's thoughts on going to church. how much and these are going to be um six dollars each pippa passes come to say i probably i'm sure i butchered that day saint jeron and on going to church okay Bye, Julie. Okay. You got it. Thank you, Jen. PNC available. Well, what happened to my YouTube? Yeah, I'm just doing it now. Okay. Okay, the next batch is As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. Great book, by the way. Great, great book. But the one I read wasn't this cute little one. It was a regular size book. Um, Uses of Great Men by Emerson. This is probably one of the thickest ones I've ever seen. And uses, U-S-E-S, -S, uses of great men by Emerson. And C is a Tilly is, Loss scandal. How would you use them? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. A Tilly Loss scandal. T-I-L-L-Y-L-O-S-S, -L -L -S -S, one word. A Tilly Loss. Tilly Loss scandal. And that is by James Berry. I might need to read a Tilly Lost Scandal. And what's it about that you liked it? I'm sorry? What is A about that you liked it? As a Man Thinketh? It's, uh, I read it like a, a self-help book. Um, one of those, um, like here's the contents, thought and character, effect of your thought on your circumstances, effect of your thought on health and the body, thought and purpose, the thought factor in achievement, visions and ideals and serenity. And I read it uh, as a self-help book. 
because it really, if you if you kind of take it in and and adapt it, it shows you how much control you actually have over your own thoughts and your own circumstances and okay. your own um, that sin achievement. That's cool. A is as a man thinketh. Yeah, always a great book. You can probably get it at a local library. It just won't be a cute little leather library book, but it's a small paperback. Men don't think it anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jen will see. take C. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jan. I just like Tilly Loss. My man does. <laughs> uh. Okay, and the last three are. Okay, it looks like A and B are available. A Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson. Would you take five? Would I take five? Is that what you said? Not sure. B is one of the red leather ones, and this is as a man B -A, uh, for as a man thinketh. Um, yeah, I would for as a man thinketh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Candy, that give Glennis as a man thinketh. Okay. Okay, this one, I'm going to have to open it. So this one is red, where the others are the brown. And this is Babs Ballads. That's easier to see than the leather. Babs Ballads. Yeah, I, something is wrong with my lighting now. It got a little bit messed up. Because I'm not seeing, there we go. Babs Ballads. Only a dancing girl. <laughs> oh boy. General John. I didn't know this was full of images as what they go along with the ballads. That's cute. Lorenzo Delardi to my bride. Yeah, so Babs Ballads is B. Now C is very interesting. C is in the worst condition of all of them, but yet is the most interesting of all of them. It's Lays of Ancient Rome by Macaulay. And this is the front cover, obviously, right? Because that's the, you can see the, the title and everything on the front cover. But yet, this is the front of the book. They put the cover on backwards. The back cover is missing, but they put the book in oh, cool. it. They, yeah, they put the book in it backwards and upside down. So I thought that was really cool. So there's the front cover, but then you have to flip it over to read it. <laughs> so Lays of Ancient Rome, those are the last three. Okay, those are in. A reject. Mm, yes. I will take A. Thank you, Glennis. Jen will take B. Thank you, Jen. That would be really cool to get those reject books. Is C? C is still available. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to put these. Margie, I just want to check when you said a reject. You didn't want a No, she was just saying it's a reject. The book is a reject. But C, she's saying C was a reject. Yeah. C is a reject book. Okay. Let's see. And lots of clicking oh, now. Lots of clicking now. I got up and walked away from the desk. And lots of clicking. I just got to notice that my chat was disconnected. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> you too. Nice. Please wait while we try to reconnect you. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me put this down here. Stamperia? Lucy says, what? Stamperia? Ooh. Okay. That one there, and that one there. Okay. Oh, Glennis, you're cutting out really bad again. What did you say? It's getting louder. Yeah. It is. Isn't that weird? When I walk away from the desk, you tell me it's getting louder. You were going to do some. Yep. Gonna do what? Did you say Nubo? I do have Nubo. I'm sure you really never heard of them. Maybe we should try grabbing the camera now while it's doing it. Is it still doing it now? Yes. Almost. Almost stop. Yeah, stop. Stop now? Yeah. Start. Is it back? Yep. Huh. All right. It's got to be something inside the camera. There might be a loose there might be a loose piece and it's brand new, so unfortunately, I don't think I kept the box, but that's okay. I have proof of purchase of a week ago. Okay. I will I will get a new one. No worries. All right. When you put in Stamperia, Laura said, never heard of them. We should take a book. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> Smart girl, right? <laughs> yes, she is. Don't the new volo. Oh, Stamperia, Vagabond. Ooh, good too. So we have Sir Vagabond. All right, now I messed up my camera. Sir Vagabond 8 and Lady Vagabond 8, meaning 8 by 8. They are $8 each. All the 8s are $8. All the 12s are $12. And... I can count how many there are. You may go ahead and put them in, Miss Glennis. And they're eight dollars. Eight dollars. Yep. The eights are eight dollars. The twelves are twelve dollars. Those are eight dollars. Yeah. Okay. So those are in. Kendall, we'll take an B. Whoops, one moment. Okay, um, lady and sir. Okay, Kendall, a B. Thank you, Kendall. Okay. 
Sandy will take 2A. Thank you, Sandy. One, two, so there's four A still available. Anybody else? I'm not liking that glare. Let's see what I can do there. Okay. Aren't there six A available? There were six A. But okay, Sandy's Lori take a B. Lori will take away. Okay. I'm back. And he will take a B. Oh, Glennis, I'm having such a hard time hearing you. It just cuts out so badly. I'll take a B. And Lori loves Montana. We'll take a B. Okay. Thank you, Lori and Candy. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Candy. All right. Did did you lose my voice again? Yeah, we got Lori. I don't know if she can hear us either. I can hear you. Okay. We can't hear you. It keeps cutting out really badly. Um, hang on. I'm looking for something specific. Just a second, Doug is calling. All right, Margie. Okay, Doug was monitoring the front and he said we just got the package, so. I will need to take a minute and run out and get it. But before I do, I'll set this out so you can do it. So you won't just have to be doing Okay, so we're through with these two, right? Okay. A is Lady Vagabond, no, Sir. A is Sir Vagabond die cut chipboards, and B is Lady Vagabond die cut chipboards. And I don't know what happened to the light, but I'm really not liking the lighting now. Okay, so um, Sir Vagabond die cut chipboards on A and Lady Vagabond die cut chipboards on B. They're $5.50 per package, and I'm going to run out and get Doug's package, and I'll be right back down.
Testing, you hear me yet? I can hear you, but it's still really garbled. Okay. Candy, you want? Yeah, I can take over. When she gets yeah. back, do you call okay. out the names for her? Yeah. Well, I can still put them in. Okay, we can do that. You want to do it that way? But if you could just call who on them. Yeah, I'll just let her know who got them. If you put them in. That's easier for me anyway. Let's me get them into the, dot, the tracker and type it twice. <laughs> We only have half an hour, so it shouldn't be too bad. See, you were just clear right there, so I think it's just you two. Okay. She didn't say how many she had. Did I miss? How many of did you have? Um, I think 12 of each one, not positive, but I think I have 12 of each. Okay, we got Jen for B. Thank you, Jen. Sandy Foster for A. Thank you, Sandy. Latoya for B. Thank you, Latoya. And they're still available. Okay. Well, then we have plenty. <laughs> um... So we need two lady and one sir. Okay. Okay. And then we have the, I didn't bring down the sample pack that I have open to show you. I know most of you have seen them, but this is one of those that sometimes you might want to see if you've never seen it before. This is the clear uh, Sir Vagabond clear die cuts. Why am I suddenly getting why am I suddenly getting a shadow? Where's that coming from? Uh, Sir Vagabond Clear Die Cuts and the Lady Vagabond Clear Die Cuts. And they're all the all the things, but cut out in a clear uh, acetate. It's a nice thick acetate. It's all clear and black. So you could actually, this one's cool, that is of her. You could actually take your alcohol ink or any other markers that you wanted. There, can you see her? So it's easier to see it against the white and you can color them in how you want but all the parts and pieces like all the other die cuts just in the acetate that are clear and they are fun to work with so um they are eight dollars clear ones are eight chipboard or 550 so uh sir is a lady is b i probably have plenty hi cheryl those are in they're asking if you have any Christmas stamp period paper or the horses. Oh, the horses um, hasn't been released yet. I've, I've had an order in for a long time. As soon as they release it, they'll ship that order out. Um, I know that I just actually sent an email and got an email back yesterday from my rep and ask her about getting it early. They're probably not going to ship out until um, the end of August, she said, but they've had so much request for the new Sir Vagabond one, which is Sir Vagabond in Japan, that, there you go, that they decided to release that one early in July, and so she emailed and said, do you want it early, since you can get it early, and I said, yes, I do, and then I asked her about the others, but so Sir Vagamon in, in uh, Japan will should be out within a couple of weeks. It should ship sometime in July. 
Great, just what we need. I know. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. Great. <laughs> I Sandy Foster. <laughs> Sandy Foster will take A and B. You got it. Thank you, Sandy. I think I have run this marker sufficiently into the ground. Time to switch it out, toss it in the trash. Come on, Lucy. Go ahead. Climb up. Up. Go up and take a nap. It's that time. Time for you to. Oh, did you lose it in there? Just one second. No, you didn't. It's. You ate it. That's what you did. Okay, then. I'm going to bring this one out because every time I uh, try to order it, it has been on back order. And I finally got some in. This is Around the World, the 12. So 12 is $12. Um, I'll count. Go ahead and put that in Around the World 12. And I think I also got Around the World 8. But let's do the 12 first. I'll count how many there are in just a second. You gotta see what Lucy lost underneath the couch. There it is. I found it, Lucy. Here, come on. Come on up, up. There you go, good girl. She lost her treat, her biscuit under the couch. Okay, so that is around the world, sea world. Sorry, Lucy, did not mean to struggle you. Oh, I've got another box of books here, too. Old, cool, old ones. Um, here it is. Can you take her? Okay, if there's no interest in that, is there any interest in Around eight. the World? I'll eight? take one. Okay, I won't pull out the eights if there's no interest. Oh, yeah, I want the eight. <laughs> you want a 12 and an eight or just an eight? I want both. Okay. One 12, one eight. For Sandy Sandy. Wants, uh, one of these. And Sandy Foster will take a 12. And Sandy Oh, she wants a 12 by 12. Okay, um, one for candy, 12, candy, and eight. Uh, Sandy, just a 12 or an eight as well. I know some of the projects you do. An eight also, okay. So, Sandy, an eight, okay. Okay, so 12 and an 8 for Candy and Sandy. And then an 8 for Gigi. Got that. And Glennis, a 12 or an 8? Um, Glennis, you have one of these that's been on back ordered forever, but it's, it's only the 8. So if you want a 12 to go with it, just know that you have an 8 coming. I only want an eight. Did you get that? Okay. You've got an eight coming. So and Suze unless, wants an eight too. Unless you want a second eight bonus, I won't put you down. But if you want a second one, let me know. But there's already one in your box. Come on out. Here. Did you get Suze for the eight? Yes, I did. And I'm going to grab that. I'm pulling them as we're doing them. Okay. So I've got candy for a 12 and an eight. Sandy for a 12 and an eight. Gigi and Suze both for an eight. And Glennis, you've got one eight that you had back ordered that you've already paid for. She so said just one. She said perfect. Just one. Okay. So she's already got that in her box then. Okay. All right. And 
that. And then just one second. Okay, so let's move these. Put the cap on that one before I dry that one out. Here's the SeaWorld 8. <coughs> Go ahead and put the SeaWorld 8 in. Uh, let me see if I have 12s on hand. <coughs> Pretty sure I do, but let's put the SeaWorld in first. Did we lose sound on Glennis completely? Or are you I'm just the I'm doing the talk and she's I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna say did she just quit talking because we can't hear her? <laughs> yeah, she, because it comes and goes. I think it's really Yeah, bad, it does. So. It's really weird. Teamwork. It's kinda like this rattle in my camera. Yeah. What well, kinda goes. Kinda quit for a while. Well that's good. I'm sure now it'll come back, but whatever. Yeah, of course, because you say that. <laughs> yeah, I got nobody so far. Nothing on the SeaWorld 8. Okay. And I do have SeaWorld 12. So we'll put in SeaWorld 12. Maybe the same. That's okay. Let me see what else was new in this box. You see you. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, anything on the twelve? Just me. Okay, one twelve. Yep, one twelve. Perfect. Um, I put two else. Okay, then Voyages Fantastiques. I got in both the twelve and the eight. We'll do that next. to know if you have a 12 by 12 minte farm pad um no i can pretty confidently say no See, i haven't seen that but i have minte coming next week i can look it up and if it's available if it's not back ordered i can message him and ask him to add it to the order okay ladies voyage is fantastic is in sandy foster will take the Eight by eight. Thank you, Sandy. That seems to be it right now on that one. Okay. Then the other thing I got in that I haven't had for quite some time because it keeps being out of stock is the Voyages Collectibles. 
And this is uh, comparable to like the Mente books, the tag book and, and the door book and window book, things like that. It is a book of um, Pussy Cuts. I love the front of it. You can use the whole thing for Pussy Cuts in this strip right down here. That looks like the, the uh, metal strip on a piece of luggage. So that's Voyages Collectibles. And they're $8. Just like an Mente book. Glennis will take one. I'm sorry, say that again. I was moving a box. Glennis will take one. Got it. Thank you, Glennis. Latoya will take one. Thank you, Latoya. Suze will take one. Thank you, Suze. And Jen, Jen will take, will take one. one. <laughs> I skipped her and saved her for last. That, she's just messing with Jen, and Glennis thinks she's missing her. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> That's funny. There are two available. I mean, she did throw poo at me, okay? That's true. She did. <laughs> um, now she says I'm evil. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But the good kind of evil, right, Jen? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. That's the ticket. Okay. Let me move that one. I'm looking to see what came this week that we haven't seen or haven't seen in a while. Okay, this is cool. They have these packs that they do in 22 double face sheets instead of 10. And uh, so you get more than twice as many sheets. They only do it on like three lines. Voyages is one of them. I got three of them in of voyages. The cool thing about this is if you're going to get or you want two of the 12 by 12s, you get one of these. It's cheaper than buying two of the 12 by 12s. The 12s are $12 each and this is 22. $22. So instead of um, 24, I mean, it's two bucks cheaper, but hey, it's a dollar per pack. It adds up. So I have three of those. If you want to put in voyages, um, maxi. Yeah, Voyages Maxi Pad, Glennis. Nope, just Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> Voyages Maxi Pad. <laughs> they, they have a terrible name for those. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah. Well, uh, consider they're Italian. <laughs> I would agree with you. That's funny. 40, 22? Uh, $22, yep. So instead of getting two 12s, get one of these, and you get more than twice the pages. I wish they would do that on a lot more of the lines. They only have it on three, available on three lines. Jen's the go-to poo. <laughs> Oh, no. So sorry, not sorry. <laughs> You're the go-to goo, go-to poo. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think anybody wants the maxi. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> I'll buy a maxi instead of two of the others because I... Well, I already had two of the others, so I don't 
already have the two of the others, and it doesn't do a whole lot of good. Okay, the second of the third lines that they do that in is Alice. Oh, and Margie can't have any. <laughs> So instead, and had never noticed how much of Alice is gold foiled on this, especially on the cover. Use all these gold foiled pieces. This cover has some great things to cut out. Um, yeah, but instead of getting two 12, 12s, get one 22. Instead of paying $24, $22. There's three of those available. Trying to keep my YouTube current. Do we need to stop and do a refresh? Oh, we're about ready to stop anyway, four o'clock. All right, let me see what else is in here that we haven't seen. Oh, sorry, they interrupted me. Did you, okay, you got Sandy Foster. Oops, nope, okay, Sandy. Sorry, Thank you, Sandy. sorry my no. kids come in. Oh, they, that's they, okay. they wanted to play in the water. <laughs> uh, that's okay, because I was um, looking for the next batch anyway. How so. many did you have of these? Uh, three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sandy. I guess I'll let Margie have one. <laughs> All right. Margie gets one. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Margie. And Reba. <laughs> Thank you, Reba. And those are sold, ladies. <laughs> they are sold. Okay. That one needs to go with that one. I think there's a couple more in here that we haven't seen before. Um, let's see here. Oh, have you guys seen wedding? I don't need to do wedding, but, um, I think I could alter anything that's really wedding-ish enough they're to, that's so, just yeah, they're pretty really pretty, pretty gray and pink and white. Yeah, Man, yeah. that's gorgeous. I can cover up rings and anything that, I mean, they don't say bride and groom on them, but. Um, I didn't, I'll have to check on else. You can use what? It just for, you can use it for an anniversary journal. Absolutely. Or, an anniversary page, something like that. or just a pretty, like Victorian gray and pink. Yeah, even a wedding dress is pretty. Would be super care. pretty. Yeah, you can certainly make that into a Victorian dress. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check how many I have of those, but go ahead and put that one in. All right. Candy, do you have a price? <laughs> the same. Twelve is or twelve. All twelves are twelve. Except the the big the maxis are twenty two. So all twelves are twelve, all eights are eight, and the maxis are all twenty two. Sorry, I didn't say that. I just assumed that you remembered that they were all the same. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, I got a good handful of these. Cool. I love those colors together, the pink and gray. That's super pretty. All right, is Lori here? Uh, yeah, Glennis, are you putting that in or you need me to put it in? <laughs> one of you put it in. I don't want us both to put it. There it goes. There it's in now, ladies. <laughs> One or both of you put it in. <laughs> no, it, the price is $12. People are like, you're killing time. <laughs> They're all 12. All 12 by 12s are 12. All 8 by 8s are 8. It makes it easy to remember. And then the maxi is 22. Okay, so wedding. Lori will take one. Thank you, Lori. Sandy Foster will take one. Thank you, Sandy. I'll take one. Thank you, Candy. And that's all right now that I see. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, Lori, working on a large book, reminded me of this. This goes along with the passion line. This is the passion collectibles. 
which is the giant book of fussy cuts. And then the piano keyboard on the bottom. Um, all, all the passion book, I'm sorry, all the collectibles books are eight. So this is the passion collectibles. I've got a handful, six or seven. That's 10 ladies. Lori will take one. Let's see here. Okay, Lori, thank you. And Kendall will take one. Thank you, Kendall. And those are still available. Okay. Here's one I don't believe we've had before that is super pretty. Uh, we've had a lot of rice paper from this line. We probably oh, we just went blurry. Yeah, real blurry. Give it a second. <laughs> Don, some of them we've shown before, some of them we haven't. I'm trying to pull out the ones that we either haven't shown or have been back ordered for a long time and a lot of people have asked for. A lilac flowers, come on. Lilac flowers we have not had before. Hang on, I'm going to go over there and turn a light off. It's been weird ever since Lucy got caught in it. Okay, so this is Okay, that's better. Lilac flowers. Okay. Me, we'll take one. <laughs> Me, thank you, Candy. <laughs> Cheryl, we'll take one. Oh. Thank you, Cheryl. How many did you have? I forgot. Um, did you have enough for right everybody? here, there's four. I think there's more in the box, but there's four right here. Jen will take one. Thank you, Jen. Kendall will take one. Thank you, Kendall. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, make sure you didn't and I can check. Yep. Me, Jen, Kendall, and Cheryl. Foose. Okay, so that takes care of that for. So if there's more, we'll have them for next time. Okay. Well, oh, Kathy Lake would like one too. Okay. Pretty or if you don't find one, she can have mine, okay? Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's more. Yeah, I have Kathy Lake. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. That's not the same one. Oh, there's one stuck in with the, there's two, one stuck in with letters and flowers. Okay, letters and flowers, definitely pink and green. Dragonflies. This one is so pretty. It is, I totally agree. Move that. Okay. And Lori wanted to know if we had province. Uh, province is coming in the next order. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All I right. Letters and flowers is in, ladies. Letters and flowers.
Sandy Foster will take one. Just one second. Oh, sorry. You're still no, digging, so are you? Sorry. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Making us wait. We're going to have to have a discount. I'm just saying, ladies. <laughs> Uh, it just... Oh, Jen's bleeding. Well, don't put poo on it, Jen. <laughs> okay, Sandy Foster, you said? Yep. Thank you, Sandy. Um, Kendall will take one. Thank you, Kendall. Cheryl F. will take one. Thank you, Cheryl. Latoya will take one. Thank you, Latoya. I'll take one. Thank you, Candy. Kim C will take one. Thank you, Kim. Welcome back. And Lori will take one. Thank you, Lori. I didn't know how many you had, so. No, oh, I don't either. <laughs> if um, okay. if I don't have enough in this box, I'll just email her to add more. Yeah, of the, you can take mine away. The next, the next person, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know time. you'll always wait. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate your willingness to do that. Oh, and Glennis would like one, too. Okay. Here's another one of my gorgeous favorites. Jen, this is this is right up Jen's alley. All right, got Glennis on the letters and flowers. wants to gift that letters and flowers to Laura. Oh, cool. Nice. Thank you, Glennis. That's really sweet. And Cheryl said you could also use hers if you okay. don't have enough. Okay. And you'll wait. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll. Thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate your willingness. See? Again. Team family. Team player. Jen's bleeding. <laughs> Jen's bleeding. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh, but did you say yeah, she's bleeding? She, yeah, she she dropped a butter dish and broke it all. Right oh, there. Jen. And, uh, Are you okay? Like I would do, Jen. But Shoot. now that they got me on that blood thinner, I'm hoping I don't get cut. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Because <laughs> I bled like a stuck pig before. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So Bring the tannic. Well, she's Thank not bleeding so bad she can't put in a me. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Wrap a towel around it, squeeze yeah. it tight. <laughs> Lori oh. would like one also. Lori. Thank you, Lori. She just got a small cut cleaning up the glass. <laughs> oh. Hope it better not be too bad for you to come craft tonight. Said, they're all saying it better not be pink blood. <laughs> <laughs> Jen. <laughs> Don't lie to us. Is it pink blood? <laughs> <laughs> she'd probably have a, she'd probably have a stroke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She wouldn't tell us anyway. <laughs> Better not be so bad you can't come craft tonight. <laughs> At least sling poo. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, I think I don't even think she needs her finger to do that. <laughs> She's doing quite well with that, isn't she? Okay, um, flower alphabet. Gorgeous. Flower alphabet. Could you get some ugly, ugly ones just, just for the fun of it? I tried. I ordered all the ones that looked really ugly on, online. Yeah, and I, I think then, you're lying to me. And then they get here and they're... <laughs> 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 oh, um, I don't think they have any ugly ones. <laughs> That oh, is sorry, the problem. Jen. It was a grandma's glass dish. That, oh. That is yeah, the problem. Have, they don't have any ugly ones. Yeah, they don't. My grandmother had, uh, she made um, cherubs for me. Oh. And I had them hanging on my bathroom wall. I have some that sit on the shelf, but there's two that she made that were really special. And they hung on the wall. And one of them, we were in there one day and it just fell off the wall. Oh no! I started crying. Oh, <laughs> well, I didn't cry, but I had tears in my eyes, and and yeah. and 
Raven was in there and she's like, what's the matter? I was like, oh, it's it's nothing. It's just it was something my grandma and a nothing. lot of her stuff has broken over the years. I don't have a lot. Left. Yeah, just something super special. That's all. Yeah. yeah. All right. Flower alphabet. Trying to get it in order. Lori would like one. Thank you, Lori. Cheryl F would like one. Cheryl F would like two. Oh, two. Sorry, two. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. I was looking at. I was saying Cheryl. I'm looking at Jen. Jen wants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> the flowers are the ugly ones. <laughs> the horse pad. The, yeah, the horse yeah. one is going to be amazing. I got a big order in for that. Yeah, my grandparents raised me too, Jen. Oh man. And that's available. Don would like one. Oh, I didn't see that one. I'm blind. Now I'm going blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Answer. Doug is calling again. Hey, honey. I did. Now I see why you wanted me to go get it. <laughs> uh, yeah. That must be why we're all so cool, ladies. Our grandparents raised us. Okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, honey. Love you. Bye. Okay, Hortensia. And the chipboard die cuts to match Hortensia. So Hortensia is 12, and the chipboard die cuts are always 550. And I got a whole bunch more die cuts in. I'm going to pull those out while you put that in and see what else. Some that you guys probably already have, I got the die cuts in. Finally. I got a ton of hort Hortensia die cuts. Okay. I'm gonna bring this whole box over here. Okay, that's in, ladies. Which direction? There we go. Thank you, Glennis. Let's see. Die cut and 12. Okay. I will take A. Thank you, Candy. Kendall will take A. Thank you, Kendall. And that's all so far. Okay, perfect. Right. Here is Cosmos and the Cosmos die cuts. This could do that, huh? Glennis asked if I got her B on the last one. I did. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Cosmos is in, ladies. Oh, Jen thinks she's going to get A and B. <laughs> Cosmos. 
Cosmos reminds me of Kramer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Foster will also take A and B. Jan, thank you, Jan. Thank you, Sandy. And Glennis will take a B. Thank you, Glennis. And I got lots of B. Still available, ladies. Okay. And it's 502. Okay. Uh, somebody asked for the passion die cuts. Die. Oh, I wrote those backwards. B was the die. A was the 12. Yeah. yeah, I wrote those backwards. I thought there was three dies and two papers. Yep. Okay. Somebody asked for passion die cuts. Is that Lori? Maybe. I do have passion die cuts. Plenty of those. Um, is there anything else that somebody asked for specifically? Uh, not that you have. I mean, they've asked for like province and some other things that you didn't have. Province is coming this week. Um, I do have some Christmas paper. Oh yeah, Christmas paper, I forgot about that. Because we had that last time. Yeah, some of them might not have been there. And do you have, Reba's asking for Alice die cuts. Do you have any? Oh yeah, them? right here. You can, if you want to put it in and then just make passion A and Alice B. I'm gonna put them on the same sheet with the other Alice. I got lots of Alice well, cats too. We're picking on you, Jen, because you have poo in your name now. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah, and, and that's a self-named poo. Yeah. <laughs> not, a, not an appointed poo. <laughs> and Cheryl is asking for forest die cuts. Um, what is this one? There's Cosmos. Yeah, best thing I ever did was put them in alphabetical order. <laughs> um, out of forest. That means they're in the next order. Okay. Have Ready calligraphy. I have calligraphy and I have Elge de Arts. I have Arctic, Antarctic, lots of Alice. Orchid and cats. Lots of Oriental Garden. Just got another batch of those in this one. Passion. That's up there right now. Um, I also have the Passion Clear. Okay, well, let me get you these so we can get them all. Okay. Okay, for Passion. Yes. Got Debbie R. Thank you, Debbie. Sandy Foster. Thank you, Sandy. And for Alice. Okay. How many of these do you have? A bunch. Okay. Glennis would like one? A lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's always a popular one that I always pulls out, so I keep ordering more each time. <laughs> Suze would like one. Thank you, Glennis. Thank you, Suze. Sandy Foster would like one. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, Reba would like three. Thank you, Reba. And Suze will take a second, Alice. You got it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got plenty. And then Jen said she'd take a B too. Alice. Um, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Okay. And Latoya said. Uh... No, for Glennis. None for Glennis. Did I? Okay, one? we'll take Glennis off. Take Glennis off the Alice. Oh, I'm seeing things, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Laura says mom is not into Alice, so get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, these are the passion clear, like the Lady Vagabond and Sir Vagabond, except they are colored and they are super cool. I uh, wish I should have brought down the sample ones. Next time, everything will be moved down here and I can pull them out. But you can see how they're not chipboard. They're that really strong acetate, but they are colored in. A lot of vintage ones, like this vintage check right here. No, that's a guest. Uh, that's probably the guest um, uh, ticket. Yeah, first balcony reserved. Those are cool. And the clear ones are always $8. Regular die cuts are five fifty. Okay, that goes with that one. And if you haven't put that one in, hang on. If you already have, then never mind. It's not there yet. Well, but if, okay, if you haven't, here's the winter tails. Oh, she just put it in. She did. It okay. Was, it was, she probably, That's okay. I hadn't seen it yet. No worries. Winter tails, a lot of you got a lot of rice paper that matches winter tails. Okay. Kendall will take a clear fashion. Thank you, Kendall. Debbie Royer will take one. Clear. Thank you, Debbie. Winter tails chipboard. Okay, winter tails. If you want to put that in separate, just to keep them separated in the chat stream. Uh, I just got some more threads. That's the sewing one, chipboard in, calligraphy. Did I say calligraphy? I probably did. You did. The Toya would like a calligraphy too. Okay. Um, Linus actually wants the winter tails. Okay. <laughs> calligraphy for Latoya. This is um, die cuts, right? Yeah. Die and Gigi wants winter tails die cuts. Thank you, Gigi, and thank you, Latoya. I didn't see Gigi. Did you see her? I don't see her. Am I not? Uh, you, I thought you just said Gigi wants it. I said Glennis. I said oh. Glennis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I said that out loud then. I could swear you said Glennis said the winter tales. Okay. Uh, Gigi. Glennis. Glennis. <laughs> thank you for the winter tales. And Jed, <laughs> Jed would like one of the winter tales. You got it. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, he's just, not me. Glenn is saying me. <laughs> um, they do not have botanic botanic uh, die cuts. Oh wow! I really hope they get them. I know. I'm. I mean, they, not that they're out of stock. They just don't have them. I'm disappointed and really hope they get them. So. Um, I will keep on top of that because as soon as they have them, I'll order a ton. Uh, the last thing I'll throw out here is two, the two Christmas ones, the Stamperia Classic Christmas. I know I have two of these. And the Stamperia Cri Pink Christmas, I've got a bunch of these. I don't remember how many came in, but there's a, there's a bunch. Oh, Jen wants the calligraphy, not the, not the, um, not the winter oh, tales. Oh, okay. Well, Thank so you, Jen, for clarifying. That. <laughs> That's okay. I gotcha. I gotcha, girl. Just um, make her get both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, where is... Oh, she's she's doing the poor me. She's cleaning up glass. We gotta take pity on her. Really? Oh, 
Come KJ, on, I don't think that there is a chipboard for the music line. The closest is the passion because it has the things about music and dance. And I'm a little mixed about that too because I want a chipboard for music. That's my thing. Okay, let me <laughs> move these over. We and then we got to do a quick. Uh, let's do these and then we'll um, do a, um, a giveaway, and then we got to go, so we can get okay. um, organized for tonight. Yeah, Margie wants a classic Christmas. Thank you, Margie. And Cheryl F will take this last one. Okay, there'll be more of those coming in, but I know I only have two right now. Cheryl would also Thank like you, Cheryl. the classic, the, uh, the pink? pink Christmas. Yeah, so pretty. Thank you, Cheryl. And Glennis would also like a classic Christmas if you come across any. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have more coming of that one for sure. Okay, okay. is that it on the pink Christmas? That's all I see right now. Cool beans. Pull that one away. I'm gonna leave it there to try to keep a focus. And let's see, it says we've got 25. Let's do a one to 35. Glennis can type it in and then put a number in. And I'll tell you about tonight. Uh, Glennis has already sent out the link. If you are not on Glennis's list to get the link sent to you personally for the sales and for the lives, you can stay here. Just You can just say here that you want to be and she'll add you to the list. Um, and it's purely convenience, so that you don't have to go find it. So the link just comes to you and you can click on it. No trouble finding it. But tonight we are going to finish unfinished projects. So it's gonna be uh, a laugh, relax, chat, um, grab, go around your room and find the unfinished projects that are sitting there and gather them together. And we want to finish at least one project, but multiples if you can, if they're you know things that don't have that much left to do on them. So that's the plan for tonight. And um, 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 what was I going to say? Oh, if you happen to not have any unfinished projects, start something new and try to finish it tonight. OK, let me go grab a door prize. Well, you know I'm not going to read that to her, Jen. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Why? What did she say? I'm not telling you. <laughs> uh oh. I'm saying I can back and read it myself, but I'm not going to read it out loud. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say her name out loud. <laughs> she but, thinks she's going to retract the gifts she sent me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't retract any. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Since we were just doing Stamperia, the door prize is going to be a House of Roses paper pack, a 12 by 12. And I do have the chipboard pack to go with them. If anybody has, I didn't even pull those out, but I know I've got a whole bunch of them. Anybody has House of Roses and wants the chipboard to go with them. So let's check for duplicate numbers where there's Glennis's go. 11, 21, 7, 15, 7. Whoa, Jen, Jen probably already put in another number, but if you didn't do it, 3, 18, 6, 34. That's why she said poop. <laughs> 24, 14. Did I see two 14s? Nope, that was a 15. Um, 14, 16, 26, 28, 20, 30. Uh, Glennis, can you retract that stop and put it in again after sweetheart? Do you have any calligraphy paper? I do. You want a 12 or an eight or both or what, Kendall? Jen, you will wear that key out. Uh, Glennis, get another stop in after Sweethearts. And Kendall, just say whether you want 12, 8, or both. Okay. Do you want the chipboard to go with it? 1 to 35. Okay. Uh, Candy, can you put Kendall down for an 8 and a 12 calligraphy? 
Yeah, I got her. And, uh, and Latoya, Latoya and eight or twelve or both. Latoya got the chipboard already. Right. So Kendall said no chip. No chipboard for Kendall. Okay. Latoya, eight or twelve or both. Okay. Here is our one to thirty-five. We're gonna generate. It chose nineteen. Why is it staying right in the middle today? Well, it did pick a thirty. Nineteen. Let's go back and see if we have. Anybody on 19? We've got a 20. We've got a 16. Glennis has 18. We've got an 18. Okay, let's see here. Glennis has 18. And wait, wait, I lost my. And Lori has 20. So they're both, they're on both sides of 19. I'm going to give them both one because I have two. I have two in stock, so I'm going to give them both one. Okay. So, Glennis, give away. And I'm going to pull another one for Lori. And you both can have one. And Latoya wants an 8x8 eight eight on the calligraphy. Okay, perfect. Congratulations. That's awesome. This is a beautiful pack too. The House of Roses is. Uh, even even pink. Some of us can appreciate the beauty of pink. <laughs> and a lot of you've got a lot of the um, rice paper that goes with the House of Roses. Okay, so uh, an hour and 45 minutes. We will see you back here ready to finish up some projects. I have to clear my whole desk off upstairs because I was piling things on it while I was pulling things out to bring down here. Otherwise, there's no place to craft up there. And um, that's for Studios Now for Crafting and the grotto, the cave. <laughs> Doug says, we are not naming the basement. <laughs> it is for, for the shop. So uh, grab me something to eat. Say hello to your family. And uh, we'll see you back in an hour, 45 minutes. Be ready for lots of laughs and crafts and that we all need to relax and laugh. So thanks for coming. Thanks for joining me. It was a great Saturday with you guys. I did get a lot of good laughs today. So that was much needed. See you guys all in a little bit. Thank you. Hey, Latoya's asking if you have the House of Roses in the eight. Um, I haven't seen you have that one yet. Have you I haven't pulled it out today, but I have had it. Let me take a quick look. There's the calligraphy and the H for her. Um, I'm, I'm out. I'm out of House of Roses in May, but that will be in the next order. All right. Bye, ladies. I'll see you later tonight. Bye, ladies.